Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Let me know whenever you can hear me. I think, oh my God, I'm so proud of myself. I didn't mute myself at the beginning of the stream this time. <laughs> I finally wasn't born stupid. So I love that for me, I love that for me. But I hope you guys are doing good today. I'm excited to check out this game. Let me, let me exit out all this crap that I have up. I'm excited to check out this game. It looks really interesting. I'm kind of curious how many of you guys have actually uh, checked it out too since um, I think it seems pretty underrated from what I've seen. Um, I was trying to look up like other playthroughs of it and I didn't really see too many. So uh, yeah. What's up guys? Oh, okay. Okay, so talking about times. Oh man, time zones are so weird. <laughs> 7 p.m., 11 a.m., 2 a.m. Ah, oh, thank you, Maki Roll, for becoming a member. Appreciate ya. Um, I think we're having like some issues with like the discord server getting into it becoming a member and stuff but it should be fixed now if you have issues though i have a couple of community posts just um message me on there if you have issues with uh doing it the other way but uh hopefully it should be okay i saw somebody join like earlier today and i was like oh thank god they have the they have the rules so it means they must have done it through uh <laughs> they must have done it through um whatchamacallit uh the youtube thing but cool, cool. Okay, oh wow, 2 a.m. in the Philippines? Holy crap, thank you for stopping by, dude. <laughs> that's crazy. Wow, that's so late. Never heard of Corpse Factory. Yeah, I was like, I know uh, most people, <laughs> most people who see it, they're like, Corpse Party, you mean? I don't know if I'll ever stream that game. I, uh, you guys can let me know how interested you'd be <laughs> in streaming that. I like tried to watch like Nico's playthrough of Corpse Party like forever ago, and I just, I don't know, man. I just could not get into it. <laughs> could not get into it at all but um yeah this one looks pretty interesting it's about like um it's like some website you can post like pictures of like people you want to die and then like they just die <laughs> i don't know it's like, it kind of reminds me of death note but it's like a website it's like basically honestly with like everything that like i see that's new i'm like is this death note <laughs> is this dong and rampa <laughs> like it has death in the title it has so it's got to be death and Death Gan Rampa? Death Note Gan Rampa. That's good. Oh, whoa. I did not expect a. I didn't expect her to start singing. Whoa. Okay, okay, pop off, Queen. Let me get the. Oh, wait, let me get this uh, ready for you guys. I just kind of expected the game to load, but she started just like. She started singing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, okay. One second. Um. Uh, let me pull it back up. Okay, there we go. Death website. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Swish NBA. Hey, Weeby, it's NBA Highlights. I don't know if you remember me. Oh my god, of course I do, but my old channel got hacked. Sorry I haven't been active in the streams, but I'm finally here. Thanks for stopping by. I was wondering where you went to. That's awesome. I appreciate you. Thanks for the donation, too. Okay, why is she so good at singing? Oh my god. It really does remind me so much of show by this guy. Yeah, it was like the singing's really good. Is this one of the English voice actresses? Hey, the art is so pretty, man. Once I saw the art, that was like the main thing. I was like, I gotta try this out. Story sounds interesting. The art looks really pretty. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I was like, she was getting ready to slay in the good way now. Oh, God. Oh. Genre change. Let me uh, turn it down just a little bit too. I was like, ooh, it's loud. Oh shit. Ugh. This is so pretty, dude. Definitely some new DLC in this game. Oh, MSC, you made it. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> She's got the crazy eyes too. That was another reason why I wanted to play this game. Okay. Evanescence moment. Okay, queen. Wow. 
That was actually really good. God, I did not ex I did not expect that when I loaded up the game. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, okay, lyric vocals, Emmy Evans. Okay. Wow, that was actually really good. I'm like so I'm so impressed by that. Oh my god, of course they got the soundtrack plugged right here. <laughs> After you listen to that beautiful, that beautiful, buy the soundtrack. Um, I will, honestly. <laughs> Don't test me. God, that was so good. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Gosh, that, uh, that really threw me off by surprise. <laughs> I was just like loading the game. And then she just, start, she started slaying in the good way. A little bit in the bad way. A little bit in the bad way. But mostly in the good way. And we, we stand. Okay, well, I guess we'll go ahead and just start. Um, I'm interested. I'm interested. Oh, Emmy, Emmy Evans. Is she like a voice actress or something? Cause like, I don't know if I totally recognize the name. I'm pretty, I'm awful. I'm bad with names and faces, honestly. <laughs> honestly, but whoever they were, they sounded amazing, dude. And uh, thank you, Ace of Slates. We've been so happy I made the streams. You're one of my favorite streamers and I'm so excited to start the new game with you. Oh, thank you so much. And yeah, I saw your uh, other chat earlier. I just was, uh, I was too into the song, man. It's <laughs> too into the song. <laughs> but uh, thanks, uh, thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you guys checking out this game with me. Okay, let's go ahead and start this. I think this game's like 12 hours, so maybe like three streams? It's kind of a good time to start it too with uh, Halloween. Emmy Katsuno. Okay, she's a singer. Oh my gosh, this art. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I wonder who the artist is for this game. <laughs> oh my gosh! I like how she's starting out. I know those bitches have been talking about me behind my back. Okay, I already love this girl. They flash those fake smiles when I walk past. <laughs> like, why do I, I already feel the Kazuna voice? Like I just wanna, I just wanna do it so fucking bad, <laughs> so badly. They were half-heartedly and saying things like, "Oh, hi, Emmy," or "You're the only one brave enough to pull off that look." Fucking bitches. They're all two-faced lying assholes. I hate each and every one of them. Okay, girl, write their name on the death website. Come on. Come on, Light Yagami. <laughs> Amano is a Chico, Kurosawa. Just look at them. Everything about them is fake. Fake lips, fake nails, fake smiles, fake personalities. <laughs> look, I'll be the first to admit that I'm a fake bitch too. <laughs> Honestly, I love how self-aware she is. I love how self-aware she is already. Oh my god, the, the Kazuna voice. I have to. Oh my, welcome to girl. It really is giving the vibes. It's like mean girls, but also mixed with like Death Note. But even I know I'm not as bad as them. I'm not horrible to every person I meet. Just the ones I don't like, which is everybody. It just so happens. Ugh, it's not fair fair that I have to work with them. I just wanted a part-time job. Something breezy and casual. How was I supposed to know these delinquents would obsess over torturing me? Amano. Okay, they're just highlighting them too. I feel like, is this the main character? Or is this just gonna be like a random girl who's like, I found the death website. Fuck these bitches. Amano is un bearable, but probably the least terrible of the three. She's a year younger than me and acts like she's some famous pop idol. But she's a dropout. It's just like me working in this dead-end part-time job so that their parents don't kick her out of their house. And what a fucking loser. She's just like me for real. She spends her evening singing at underground bars and hanging out with shady talent agents who swear they can promote her and make her the next big pop star. She gets taken advantage of- Oh, that's- that's fucked up. That's sad. She gets taken advantage of time and time again, but never seems to learn her lesson. Okay, victim blaming. <laughs> okay, girl. Starting to like you less, Miss- Miss Kazuna. I don't- I don't know if she's just stupid or if she really thinks she's on the right track to becoming famous. Oh, thank you, Crocomancer. Kazuna Protag art. It's Heathers all over again. Oh my god. I fucking love Heathers, dude. Oh, uh, I- God, that is such a good, that's such a good movie and musical. Thank you for the dono, by the way. Appreciate you. Sachiko is the kind of straight-laced girl you see at every school, staying her ass off during her parents' approval. <laughs> yep, yep, that's Kazuna, all right, victim blaming. Oh my God, it really is her. I miss you so much, girl. The type of girl that always has the best grades, but never really has any friends. She's the kind of girl, why is it highlighting girl, that graduates, then the reality of the real world knocks her on her ass and she realizes she actually has no clue what she's doing, just like the rest of us. 
So she settles for the first crappy job she can find, and then suddenly it's three years later and she's still slaving away for asshole managers just to make ends meet. Instead of being humbled by her situation in life, Sachiko decides to take her anger out on everyone around her. I've seen her slap, oh Jesus, I've seen her slap customers out of frustration, Jesus! Oh my God. I know there's a few times I've wanted to do that, but like, girl, I don't think you can't, you're not supposed, you shouldn't do that. I was like, how'd she not get fired from that, man? Rumor has it that she's, oh, 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 okay, okay, what? Rumor has it that she strangled our boss on one occasion. Apparently he's too afraid to fire her now. I don't blame him. I'm fucking scared of her too. What is this girl? What? How does she? How does she still have a job for trying to kill a boss and slapping the customers? Girl, she runs this place. What are you talking about? She is the boss now. And then there's Kurosawa. I could write an entire blog and all the things I hate about her. She's pretty, but she's very aware of it. She seems to have a new sugar daddy every few weeks. Some poor old fool that she strings along and milks dry. She must be nearing 30, but all her friends are still in senior high school. The fuck? It's... M <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you friends with high schoolers if you're almost 30? <laughs> It's more than a little weird. They hang out around the train station, bullying. <laughs> These people. Say Deathers. So you say Deathers is like a mixture of Death Note and Heathers. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is. This game. Wow. They're, they're really coming in strong here. They hang out around the train station, bullying homeless people and shoplifting from the convenience stores. Why don't they ever invite me? I want to bully homeless people too. I'm pretty certain she's done it time once or twice. She's done time once or twice. Kurosawa is just an all-around terrible person. She makes a mono and Sachiko look like saints in comparison. Honestly, I couldn't ask for a worse group of coworkers, but they're all so beautiful. Finally, there's me, and I'm the craziest bitch of all. Let's see. Emi Katsuno, uni university dropout, part-time cashier, and up in my ears in debt. I live in a small apartment in a bad neighborhood just to keep my head above water. My apartment building is filled with deadbeats, loan sharks, junkies, perverts, you name it. By some miracle, I managed to snatch up the best apartment in the worst building. Okay. Although the place is a night... Nice, the rent is questionably low. I am fully expecting the landlord to wander in one day and demand more money <laughs> or murder me. You know, it's whatever. <laughs> just, you know, just girly things. I'm constantly worried about money, worried about my safety, worried about what the hell I'm supposed to be doing with my life. As if that wasn't bad enough. I have to work four days a week with the same three worst girls I've ever met in my life. Today is no different from any other day. Amano greets me at the door, her disgustingly puffy and pouty lips pull back in a half snarl, half smile. Is that the is that the Radio Rebel smile? <laughs> the people were saying I was doing. Well, how do you? I can't even. How do you even do that? But I'm just gonna imagine she's doing the Radio Rebel smile, though. <laughs> that that smile. I can smell the sickly sweet sweat. Sweet. Sw <laughs> I'm already, I already can't talk. Sweet scent of too much lip gloss from 10 feet away. Oh, hi, Emmy. Oh. You're late again, you know. Oh my god, she has the Kazuna voice too. Okay, Amano. We're just, this is the Kazuna game. A bitch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry I'll go clock in. Oh, she's so pretty too, honestly. Whatever. <laughs> Kurosawa wants to see you. Can you, like, just go see her? <laughs> She's like, go he see her, you dumb bitch. Fine. <laughs> I love this girl. It's like literally all she does is say like hi and she's like fucking bitch. Amano walks off. I look around for Kurosawa. The stale stench of cigarette smoke eventually overwhelms the lingering scent of lip gloss in the air and leads me to her location. You wanted me? Yeah, I think I heard that this whole game is like uh, voice acted. I guess it's just the um, thoughts that uh, I'll have to read myself. The voice acting sounds really good so far, honestly. Got to know. I need you to process a big refund. Don't mess it up, okay? It's for a regular customer. Let me see. Let me turn up the volume just a little bit more since there's voices in this. You guys can let me know if it's too loud. I, I can do that. 
What am I refunding? There's a bunch of shirts on the counter. Just ring them up and refund them for cash. You can leave the money in the envelope under the register. Fine, I'll take care of it. Thanks. Bye. I'm going for a smoke break. I decided to clock in before processing the refund. I won't be paid for this shift if the company doesn't know I came into the work. The dialogue is fully voiced. All the actors are voiced by top talent. I was like, yeah, it all sounds really good so far. I know Erica Harlacher is like the main, or the, I guess, I don't know totally if she's the main girl now, but you know, the girl on the cover with like the black hair, who looks like a uh, Chibami, or Chibami, isn't that, isn't that her name? From, uh, I can't think of the show, the show with the card games. <laughs> Uh, or not the card games, the like gambling show. I go behind the counter and retrieve the sign-in booklet. I flip to today's date and fill in my details. Done and done. The shirts that Kurosawa mentioned are lying haphazardly on the counter. Actually, you know, the voice that I'm doing now doesn't sound at all like the voice actress. Maybe I should do a more normal, a more normal voice. I pick them up and scan each one. They're not cheap. The first rings up at 11,000 yen and the next is 3,000. Wouldn't that be like, be like a... Hundred dollars and like three hundred dollars, maybe. Kakigure, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. There are six shirts all up, each one a little more expensive than the last. They don't look worn, and the tags are intact. I'm supposed to ask for a receipt or proof of purchase before making a refund, but the customer is obviously not here. Besides, the request came directly from Kurosawa, my superior, so I can't exactly refuse. The refund goes through the system successfully and the cash drawer opens up. Do girls steal it? I could count out the correct amount of money in 10,000 yen bills, then pop an elastic band around the cash and put it in an envelope. I also print a copy of the re refund receipt and slip it into the cash. I'm like, so the problem, dude. Every time like I'm like reading these characters, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, girl, steal it, murder them, do what you have to do. Job, it's done. I slid the envelope back under the register and leaned against the counter. Surveying the store, I can see that there aren't any customers around. It's still early in the morning after all. We don't usually get much business until around lunchtime. I hover around the register for a while, biting my nails and staring at the clock to pass the time. Okay, so 11,000 yen is like 74 USD. Okay, this is a pretty expensive store, isn't it? Half an hour must have passed by now. Who does she think she is? Finish that refund. Okay, bitch. How long does it take to smoke a cigarette? Yeah. I did it just like you said. Okay. okay. She rummages around underneath the cash registers and pulls out the envelope stuffed with cash. Her fingers flick through it quickly, counting each note, and she nods through, satisfied. Good work, Katsuno. I'll pass this on to the customer next time they come in. I feel like she's just gonna pocket this shit. <laughs> honestly, honestly. No Anyway, I'll take over the cash register for a while. You want to go tidy up stock? Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm not too bothered if Kurosawa wants to take over my register duties. It's boring standing around. I'd much rather be doing something than nothing. As I head towards a rack of untidy jackets, Sachiko bumps into me. Sorry, I didn't okay. see you there. She's got the crazy eyes. She's got the crazy eyes, man. Staring into my soul. I think you're about to write on the death website. Sorry, she actually just apologized to someone. To Chico, the customer abuser. Girl, you can you can tell she's been through some shit. Oh my god, she's got like that dead, dead in the eye look. That's fine. You okay? I haven't been sleeping real well. I'm just tired. That's all. Okay. Maybe that's just why her eyes look crazy, because the the bags, but I don't know. She is the girl that like strangled their boss. So so you know. Oh, um get some rest, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Just get away from me. Thanks. Look, while I've got you here, I know I haven't really been easy to get along with lately. I've got my own personal issues, but that's no reason to take it out on you and the other girls. They keep highlighting girls. Why do they keep doing that? I can't believe what I'm hearing. So Chico has had a change of heart. Maybe she got put on the death website already, and that's why she's not sleeping and stuff. She's scared. She's got to mend all her bridges so and stuff. So I'm resigning. Oh. As of today. Okay. I don't deserve this job. I wanted to apologize and make sure there's no bad blood between us. Okay. I think so. I feel like I feel like she was written on the website. Such go. I don't know what to say. I. Never expected this from you. Yeah. 
If you're resigning, do you have another job lined up? No, not yet, but I need to work on myself first. I have a lot to think about. Yeah, she sounds really, really unstable. Well, I mean, as long as you're sure about this. I am. Mm. In that case, then thank you for apologizing. I forgive you. Thank you, Emmy. Well, until next time, then. Oh, she's dead. She's dead, dead. Yeah. Until next time. Sachiko takes her leave. I'm still a little bit taken aback by her sudden personality change. Did I misjudge her from the start? Oh, we can fix her, guys. We don't even need to fix her. She fixed herself as a true girl boss should. But she's probably going to die. I'm like, I'd say 90% sure she's going to die. No, that can't be it. She has a history of abusing customers and coworkers. No, no way. I imagined all that. Am, am I hallucinating right now? Regardless, I'm actually kind of glad she's trying to get a grip on her life. I hope everything works out for her. If, she, if she's resigning today, then I suppose the only two terrible co-workers left are Amano and Kurosawa. I glance at Amano, who is standing by the door, waiting to greet customers. She had a vacant expression on her face, <laughs> like always. Character development equals death. And Danganronpa definitely does. It definitely does. I feel like whenever I like start to like a character in Danganronpa, I'm like, oh, fuck, they're about to die, aren't they? That's another reason why I'm kind of like, you're improving yourself, girl. You're leaving. You're going to quit your job. You're going to be, you're saying see you later. I don't know. I don't know, sussy, sussy. Then I look towards the register where Kurosawa should have been standing. But she's not there. Didn't she offer to take over register duties from me? Where the hell did she disappear to? Oh, shit. Is she dead, too? I wander behind the counter. The register doesn't look like it has been touched. Out of curiosity, I slide my hand around under the register. And the cash stuffed envelope is gone. Oh, God! <laughs> I had a feeling she was going to do that. No sign of it. That's so weird. It was weird she was just like yeah there's a customer or some there's like a customer or something they want to buy all this stuff just put, just put the money in the envelope and just just give it to me girl don't don't tell the boss don't tell the boss man about this the receipt from the refund is lying on the floor i bend down and pick it up it's a standard refund receipt stating the value of the transaction my name is signed to the bottom since i was the one who processed dumb ass bitch she's totally framing you for it the refunded money is gone and so is Kurosawa. Did she? I, I don't know. I don't think she would ever. Not little Kurosawa. No, she couldn't have. Surely she wouldn't have run off with the money. No one would be stupid enough to risk. Girl, she put your name on the receipt, so they're going to think it's you. Stupid enough to risk their job over that, would they? I mean, I think that's at least what uh, they're going for. Oh, okay. You should go ask her about it. Huh? Kur Kurosawa is she, she's still here? She seemed to pop out of nowhere. Tatsuno. Oh. A word, if you please. Okay, this is our boss. Ah, Hirota, the manager of the store. He normally suspends his time in the office out back, so it's kind of unusual to see him here. What could he want with it? she just frame me for stealing the money? To get me like fired, maybe? Hmm. I don't, I don't know. Are you guys still... Are you guys trying to fix all the characters? I, honestly, I kind of feel like all these girls are going to die. I'm not going to... I'm not going to lie. Kurosawa was tending to the register when she noticed the system flagged a large refund as suspicious. Do you know anything about it? Because I think the dark-haired girl is supposed to be the protagonist. That was my assumption before starting this game. So I'm like, all you bitches are dead. Honestly, it's like... That's my first thought. Well, yeah. I processed a big refund this morning. Where the hell did the money go? Is that so? Do you have the receipt? Uh, here. I hand him the transaction receipt that is still between my fingers. He licks it over once, then twice, his eyebrows furrowing. This is quite a large refund. No wonder the system flagged it. Did you get approval from Kurosawa before processing this? Kurosawa was the one who asked me to process it, sir. I never even spoke to the customer that it was intended for. That's not true here. Oh my god. I don't know anything <laughs> about this refund. <laughs> this bitch! Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. Why are you trusting the girl who, like, apparently bullies homeless people? Where is the refunded money now? <sighs> uh, well, I, I put it in an envelope underneath the register, but. Girl, write her, write her on the death, on the death website, Emmy. There's no money here, sir. 
Ugh. She's lying to you. This bitch. Interesting. No money to be found. And Katsuna, you're the one who signed off on the refund. That makes you responsible. Dang, I can't believe she fell for that, man. Yeah, I did sign it, but... You're going to have to tell the truth, Katsuno. Did you take the money? Oh my god. Don't make me get the police involved. Oh, Jesus. Wait, hang on. Do you think I stole it? Kurosawa asked me to process the refund and leave the cash in an envelope. Yeah, because I was thinking if she was going to frame her, it would be too obvious to, like, run away. But this is obviously the best idea to be like, Mr. Boss Man, I don't know, the money just, like, disappeared and Emmy signed off on it. I think she stole it. Nonsense. That's simply irresponsible. It's not safe to leave cash out of the register. But... I feel my stomach beginning to sink. What exactly is hap- Girl, you just got tricked. Confess at once, Katsuno. I didn't steal the damn money! If anyone stole it, it was that bitch Kurosawa! Oh! Uh, get her! Fucking get her! Enough! We're not going to stand here and argue about this like bickering school children. Sachiko! Oh! What the- oh, <laughs> Where was she coming back? <laughs> like a serpent, slinking out of the shadows. <laughs> what the fuck? I just imagine her just like wiggling like a snake on the floor. Sachiko slides beside Sarota. Girl, I thought you just apologized. These bitches are setting me up, dude. Yeah, Sarota? Yeah, Sarota. Did you witness Katsunu take an envelope of cash from the register? Damn, dude. Oh, yes, sir. Just this morning. She acted like she was processing a refund, then pocketed the cash. I meant to bring it to your attention sooner, but... This bitch! Okay, give me the death website. Where is Where is it? Where Where are you, Ryu? Come on, help me, bro. Sachiko. Sachiko. That bitch. She hasn't changed at all. She just sold me out. Why'd she even lie about quitting and stuff? I don't understand that part. I managed to catch a glimpse of Kurosawa smirking at Sachiko. They nod in unison and giggle. Are they in this together? Are they throwing me under the bus just so they can steal some cash? How much money? I guess it was like, uh, I guess like $200 or something like that. I can't believe it. I'm so fucking angry. There you have it. A witness to your crime. Kurosawa, if you would kindly call the police. Girl, where's the, where's the pink haired girl? Is she gonna save me? Could she, could she come in and be like my, my knight in shiny, shining armor? Yes, sir. Wait just a minute! Oh my god. I scream louder than intended, but my blood is boiling, and I can barely manage to control myself. Steal any money. Why don't you check the security cameras, huh? You'll see that I'm innocent. Smart. Oh, you know those cameras haven't worked in months, oh, Jesus. right? I suppose nowadays they're <laughs> mostly just for show. It was so weird how like the security cameras broke after somebody like accidentally poured Mountain Dew on it. I think that was you too, Emmy. That's so crazy. What a coincidence. Of course. If Hirota really wants me to, I could go double check it just to be sure. Though I think that would just be a waste of time. <sighs> God. Thank you, but that won't be necessary, Kurosawa. Kurosawa's eyes narrow. She glazes at me wickedly. Amano, please show everybody what you found. You got it, boss. Oh. oh, she's in on it too? No, okay, never mind. Your ass is going on there too. I didn't even realize Amano is part of this discussion. She's leering at me disgustingly and slapping an envelope against her open palm. Why are they, why are they targeting me so hard? I found this wad of cash in Katsuno's locker out back. <laughs> you fucking bitches, dude. They did this all to set me up. They didn't even want to steal the money. They just wanted to get my ass fired. I can feel the blood drain from my face. I haven't even been out the back today. Are they all in this against me? Oh, hey, that girl who went to go like smoke or whatever. She was probably setting this up. Did they plant evidence to get me in trouble? Lying! I haven't even had time to go out back today. I mean, what do you want me to say? Do <laughs> you think the cash just appeared out of nowhere? I love this girl's voice. It would seem all the evidence is against you, Katsuno. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Since we located the money, I won't have you arrested. But you will not step foot oh my in this God. store ever again. Oh, God, so that sucks so bad. Cause she's, like, pretty poor. You're fired. And I will make sure you never work in <sighs> any of our stores again. Damn. I'm speechless. I can't even process my thoughts. I quietly... 
The quiet giggling and snickering of Kurosawa, Sachiko, and Amano buzzes in my ears until my skull feels like it's going to burst. Hirota grabs my shoulder and tries to lead me outside, but I jerk away and stu stumble backwards. Yeah, punch him, girl. My back slams to the glass window at the front of the store. Thankfully, the glass doesn't shatter, but I can immediately feel a bruise forming. I push myself forward, regain my balance, and duck towards the sliding door. See you around, Emmy. <gasps> oh, well. I guess not, hey? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Just kidding, because your ass is fired. I blink tears out of my eyes and I dash to the store's front door. I don't know if you guys can fix them, honestly. Everybody's saying in the chat they're gonna they're gonna fix them. I don't know if y'all can, to be honest. My anger and fear and anxiety get the better of me. And it's a good five or ten minutes before I realize that I've been running aimlessly through the shopping mall. I reach a hand to my eyes to wipe away the moisture and take a deep breath. I look around, trying to get my bearings. The escalators. At least I know where I am. I need to sit down and compose myself. If I don't calm down, I might be tempted to return to the store and start punching those three absolute assholes. I can't believe he fired me for, like, stealing. But he didn't fire that girl for, like, literally trying to strangle. For literally trying to strangle him. We, you know, the physical assault is okay here. <laughs> stealing $100, though. Now you're fucking fired. With my head down, I blindly charge towards a small seating area. <laughs> Oh, who's that? I collide head first with somebody in front of me without thinking. I scream out in anger. Watch where you're going. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Oh my god, are you actually gonna be nice? Please. I need I need somebody nice in my life. Wait, this girl, I know her from somewhere. Hatsuna? Is that you? Okay. Uh -huh. I know you. Have we met? Okay, maybe like old high school friends or something? I know, I know, it said he was scared of the girl. I was just making a joke. Yes, of course. We graduated from senior high school together. Remember? I don't know, dude. If somebody tried to strangle me, though, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely, I'd definitely call the police and get the girl taken away, you know what I mean? I guess, like, maybe you didn't have proof of it, because the cam, I guess maybe the cameras were broken when she did it. I don't know how long the cameras were broken. I can't remember what they said. Oh, thank you, have to. Hi, I know this is very off topic, but the new Lyle and Artemotes for chat make me very happy. Also, goddamn, this is cruel. What the hell? I know, right? God, they're so mean so far. But thank you for the dono. And yeah, I was hoping you would appreciate the uh, the Lyle and Artemotes. I was like, oh, we gotta we gotta have some emotes for the man. Did we? The best boys. Senior high school was more than a year ago. Feeling like a different lifetime. How does she expect to remember that? Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, you're Sato, right? Aoi Sato? Aoi. That's me. You do remember. Red flag? You get red flags from her? I was like, she seems like the only nice one so far. Well, kinda. Sorry. I've had a crappy day. I just got fired, so I'm not thinking straight. I don't know, I guess she could be pretending to be nice, but it seems like they know each other. You got fired. I'm really sorry. Um, you bumped into me pretty hard. Are you hurt? I'm fine. Aoi is rubbing her arm tenderly. I figured I might have injured her, but I'm really not in the mood to stand here and apologize to some old acquaintance. I have to go. Excuse me. Oh, um, okay. I pushed past Aoi unexpectedly. The shy, spineless... Why does it keep highlighting girl? Girl grabs my arm and stops me from leaving. Her grip is surprisingly strong. I'm just gonna start saying like just a girl in a creepy voice. The shy and spineless girl grabs my arm and stops me from leaving. Her grip is surprisingly strong. Okay, working out, Owie. You, know, you said that you just got fired. Is that true? Wait, yeah, I'm pissed off about it. Tell me what happened. Okay. Why are you so interested? I just thought maybe I could help us all. Whatever. You can't help. Some bitch set me up. She stole a bunch of money and made me take the fall. I mean, that is true. Uh, I see. <laughs> Girl. Oh my god, I should say it like that, actually. That's perfect. Are we done here? Can I leave now? Sorry for keeping you. Oh. Yeah, okay. Once again, I turned to take my leave, but Aoi's next words managed to catch my interest. You know, if someone got you fired, there is a way you could get revenge. Oh, you're gonna be my you're gonna be my little Ryuk, huh? I've heard of this website and it's just not it's not a big deal or anything, but they murder people for you. 
revenge. What is this girl on about? Does she have some way for me to get back at Kurosawa? What am I thinking? I can't even step foot back in the store. My chance to get any kind of justice doesn't exist. Revenge? What the hell are you talking about? Never mind. Oh. I shouldn't have said anything. No, say it! Oh, hell no. You're not going cold on me now. Tell me what you meant. Oh, okay. Mm. But let's talk quietly. I I'm pretty sure it's like illegal or, or something, maybe. There may be a way for you to get back at whoever got you fired. <laughs> the Death Note. Have you heard the rumors of Corpse Girl's website? Okay, yeah, yeah, it's the name of it. Corpse Girl's website. Reminds me of like a... What's that girl like from the girl? <laughs> the girl from uh, I think it's the ring. It kind of makes me think of that girl for Horse some reason. Girl? Who is that? Sounds like some death metal band. That too, honestly. Aoi ignores my comment and continues on with her speech. They say that if you visit Corpse Girl's website, you can request a death. I feel like she's the Corpse Girl now. Requested de death. What is this girl ranting about? Hang on, start over. I'm, I'm completely lost. Aoi frowns, a look of annoyance on her face. She is kind of one of those girls who like looks really innocent, but she's like, I've done it a million times. Don't worry, Emmy, you can do it too. Say somebody wrongs you and you want to get revenge on them. I've been a light Yagami kitty since the day I was born and now finally I can live out my dreams. Rumors state that you can visit Corpse Girl's website and fill out a form in order to request a specific person's death. I mean, like, I think it works. I also may or may not have done it on my parents and my brother. This Corpse Girl. Is she, like, a hitman or something? <laughs> corpse Girl. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. No the one chat. knows the truth. All I know is that her victims always receive a photo of their own corpse before they die. It's kind of creepy her saying all this stuff with a cute little face. How is that possible? I don't know. Hmm. I, I've been wanting to use the website for some time. There's somebody, somebody that I'd be happier without. But I'm not brave enough to go through with it. But can you do it for me? Still, I want to know if the okay. are true. If you use the website, you could tell me if it works or not. I guess... Hmm. This whole thing sounds sketchy. Risky. Are the police gonna come get me if I go on this website? I... I've got no idea. Mm. Well, thanks, I guess. Aoi doesn't make a further attempt to stop me when I turn my heel and walk away. I don't know what to make of her suggestion. Can such a website even exist? The ability to request a death just sounds so unbelievable. It's like, can we see, like, uh... The girls at the store when they get their picture and stuff. I kind of want to see all that go down. I want to see the hysteria. I want to see them suffer. And yet, and yet I want to fucking do it. I find myself unable to get the possibilities out of my mind as I make my way towards the train station. Corpse Girl, a website tailored for revenge. I could dob in Kurosawa, Sachiko, and Amano. If I could remain anonymous, then no matter what happens, whatever fate befalls those girls, it can be traced back to me, to little me. I start to wonder if ordering the deaths of a few girls simply because they got me fired is a little, it's a little extreme, but oh fuck it, who cares? Although they're not exactly saints, they're closer to human garbage more than anything else. We've always been hot. They've always been hostile towards me. I'd probably be doing the world a favor. Oh my god, she really is on her light Yagami shit right now. I'd probably be doing the world a favor if I had them all killed. If they screwed me over without a second thought, who knows what they might do with their next unsuspecting victim. Yeah, killing all of them is the right thing to do. I'm like kind of a saint right now. Removing them from the planet will prevent them from hurting anyone else. My heart begins to race. I know, I'm like, Slay Girl, you got this. I believe in you. Slay in the bad way. I support you, Queen. The trip back. Why is it? It's, what is it? Why does it keep highlighting girls and women? I don't have a girl version of women. I guess it's like to say it in like a New Yorker accent. The trip back to my apartment is boring. The train carriage is nearly empty, save for a few junior high school boys and a couple of women. 
women in business attire. I'm just gonna kill all the women in this world. That's why it keeps highlighting it. I have a few seats all to myself, so I sprawl out and check my phone for messages. When I feel confident that no one in the carriage is watching me, I decide to search for Corpse Girl's website on my phone. Okay, here we go. Just, woman. There we go. Women. Oh my god, I forgot about that. I could do that. I could do that as well. Women. Okay, well, I guess... Oh, you know what? Corpse Girl is highlighted too. Is something up with women? <laughs> so what's wrong with women in this game? Why is everything that's like gendered towards women highlighted? It's freaking me out. Whammon. I don't exactly know how easy it is for it will be to find. Maybe I should have asked Owie for the address. Well, a quick search shouldn't be too hard. I begin to type. Corpse Girl's website. A few results pop on my screen, but none seem relevant. There are links to funeral services and anime. And oh god, what kind of, what kind of anime fantasy is coming up when you search Corpse Girl? What is wrong with people? Anime fantasy. Oh, fan sites. Okay, okay, I read, the, I, I read that wrong. I read that wrong. Just, mm -mm. Uh, anime fan sites, but nothing really matches what I'm looking for. <laughs> I read that wrong, guys. Words are hard. Maybe this is a bad idea. I should probably delete my search history. I found some weird shit when I searched Maybe that up. Just one more search. Okay. Corpse girl request uh, death. Oh, you know, I don't think uh, man and boy have been mentioned yet. So maybe it is just like any kind of gendered word is highlighted. I guess we'll see. My phone begin seems to lag for a few seconds as the search is submitted. Then... A fresh list of links appear. The top result catches my eyes immediately. Scroll revenge at your fingertips. Okay, here we go. This must be it. I click the link and the website loads immediately. Oh, she's so pretty, man. It's a nice uh, uniform, too. Oh my god, she's a little cheerleader. This really is. This is really is. Oh god. Whoever made this, they were a Kazuna stan. I, I feel that in my heart and my bones. Corpse Girl's website, revenge at your fingertips. Requested death. Fill out your victim's information and upload a photo of them. Your victim will receive a photo of their own corpse shortly before they die. Watch out. Don't be an idiot and enter something something. This website is simple. There's a freaky little dancing girl at the top of the screen who looks too happy to belong on such a site. The whole site is really basic. A small blurb of text offers instructions. Request a death. Fill out your victim's information and upload a photo of them. Okay, photos highlighted too. Okay, we got it. We got a new word highlighted. Victim will receive a photo of their own corpse shortly before they die. Okay, maybe it's just like words that connect to the main corpse girl thing. Because I guess like, you know, corpse photo and girl have been highlighted. So it, it makes sense. It makes sense. We found Twy's website. That was my first thought too. I was like, is Twy behind this? Watch out. Don't be an idiot and enter your own information or you will be cursed. Twy is uh, one of my mods. He's a very big uh, Kazuna stan. What the hell? Is this site actually for real? You should try it out, girly. I start to wonder if I should go through with this. There's very little useful information on the site. I mean, it does say requested death, but come on. Is someone actually going to go out and kill the person I choose? And how on earth can someone receive a photo of their own corpse before they're actually dead? That doesn't even make any sense. My heart slowly skips a beat as I nearly drop my phone at when it buzzes at me. Oh, thank God. Okay. It's just a text message. An unknown number? That's never a good thing. Wait a minute. There's a photo attachment. Who would be sending me a photo from an unknown number? My curiosity gets the better of me and I open the message. Oh. Oh, those bitches! Girl, do it! Right, 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 right. Slay, 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 slay. Do it, girl. Do it, girl. Kurosawa, you freaking bitch. I knew it. I knew she's... How did... I mean, I feel like it was already confirmed before this. I knew she set me up, and Amano and Sachiko were in on it, too. They made me process a fake refund. Okay, name. So that's like the other thing you have to put on the website. So it just all has to do with uh, what you have to do on the website. That's highlighted. They made me process a fake refund to get cashed out of the register so that my name would be on the transaction. And all for what? A bit of cash they have to split three ways. It was like $200 or something. <sighs> let's make them comfortable. Yes, let's make them real comfortable. Ugh. 
kill you. I'll kill you. <laughs> Hashtag let Emmy say fuck. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, she keeps saying freaking. I was like, I feel like she's the type. She's the type of woman who would say fuck. Let's let's be real. A few of the junior high school boys nearby look at me with worried expressions, but I don't give a damn. I'm angry. I'm furious. Kurosawa is going to pay. Oh, you should. Girl, you just sent me a picture too. I know what I'm gonna put on Corpse Girl's website. Get wrecked. I close Kurosawa's message and return to Corpse Girl's website. Okay, we're, we're about to slay. It's clear what has to be done. I'm going to request Kurosawa's death. I read the website's instructions one more time to make sure I haven't missed anything important. Make all those girls comfortable together, girl. Enter the victim's phone number. Okay. Upload a photo of the victim. Need their phone number too. I guess that makes sense since they have to get like their, you know, corpse texted to them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love the evil laugh. I can't believe it. Kurosawa just signed her own death sentence. She sent me a photo of herself and her phone number was included with the message. What a fucking dumbass. I fill in the phone number and upload the photo. My hands trembling the whole time. My thumb hovers over the submit button. I'm kind of curious how much he's actually believing this. Because I feel like, uh, I don't know if, like, this happened to me and I was like, www.slay.com. I'm dead. <laughs> it's so beautiful. So perfect. I was thinking, like, if I was in her position, I might just, like, I would never want to, like, wish death on somebody. But if you're, like, really angry and you see a stupid website like this, you might just be like, oh, whatever. I'm just going to get my anger out and put it on there. I kind of wonder if she feels more like that, you know what I mean? I feel a chill down my spine. My face turns pale and I immediately feel cold and clammy. Is Kurosawa really going to die if I use this website? Or is this just all some sick hoax? I run through the possible outcomes in my head. First possibility, nothing happens and Kurosawa is none the wiser. Second possibility, Kurosawa gets pranked by whoever is running this website. Oh yeah, that's, a, that's another alternative I didn't really think of too much. Maybe the administrator gets a kick from tormenting people. Kurosawa might just receive some spam, spam text or something like that. Third possibility, Kurosawa dies. She gets murdered or some elaborate scheme is concocted to make her die accidentally. The best outcome! My lip- Oh my god! She's really- She's already drunk with power. My lips curl into a frenzied smile. I like the third possibility the most. I feel like, okay, she's she's a little, she's a little cray cray. You know, I feel like, cause like, I understand her being pissed, but me personally, I would just want her to get like a bunch of like text messages from like spam bots or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the high school kids are just like, <laughs> next to her. Like, maybe, can, can we train, can we change train cars, man? This girl's kind of freaking me out. I slam my thumb down and smash the submit button. I prepare, prepare for the end, Kurosawa. Girl, if this website doesn't kill her, she's gonna she's gonna murder herself. If Corpse Girl won't do it, I'll do it. I'll kill the girl. When I get home, I can barely contain my nervousness. I'm shaking, screaming, and throwing up as I open the door to my apartment. She's just in a silly, goofy mood. <laughs> Only the furlog and you're already into this good sign. Yes, this is really good so far. This is a really good uh, opening to get you invested in the game because I feel like that's like a big issue with most visual novels is like the intro is usually kind of slow, but this one's really, this one's done a really good job of getting you invested. By the time I walk through the door, the sun has started to set behind the backdrop of the city. It's a night night, Kurosawa. Even though it's not dark yet, I'm feeling physically and mentally drained. I love characters too that are, you know, a little off. And my girl, Emmy, she's, she's a little off so far. The drama at work this morning. The taunting laugh of Kurosawa. I feel exhausted. Like I just want to crawl into bed and sleep. I love revenge stories too, man. I don't know why, but it just feels so good. Despite my dipping energy levels, I can't extinguish the burning question flickering with my within my mind like a candle flame. How will I know when or if Kurosawa is dead? Will C Corpse Squirrel's website notify me? No, of course not. I didn't give any of my personal information on the site. The entire thing was an oh my god. Well, if she was like a dumbass, she was like, oh my god, I should submit my information on the website so they text me later. <laughs> then she gets a picture of her own corpse. Ah, oh, damn it. I, I didn't think that through. The entire thing was anonymous. 
It's not like I can visit the store tomorrow and see if she comes into work. I'll be kicked out as soon as I show my face. So, what do I do? <sighs> That's it. Oh. I want my phone out of my purse and open. Oh, a noise. Noise. And social and social network app that all my coworkers are connected to. Kurosawa. Oh, okay, she's still in the group chat. Oh my gosh, she didn't get kicked out of the GC yet? Kurosawa, Sachiko, Amano, and I are all in this group chat labeled work life. We used to chat to swatch, swap shifts with each other and complain about the boss. Would Kinjo approve of this website? No, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I think he would think it was, uh, you know, dirty criminal scum. Just as I was hoping, I haven't been kicked out from the group yet. I swipe through the list of chat members and tap on Kurosawa's profile. Last online one hour ago. Damn it, she's not dead yet. Perfect. If I use this app, I can keep an eye on when Kurosawa is active. She only has to be using her phone for noise to detect that she's online. She doesn't necessarily have to be using noise. Oh, I, the app's name itself. It's the best way I can think of to monitor if she's still alive or not. It will do for now at least. I wonder why Kurosawa sent me that photo of herself via a regular text message instead of through noise. Okay. Maybe she thought she could be busted for it if someone got into her noise profile. Okay, that might be. That might be why. Who knows what that girl was thinking. Regardless, I'm thankful she made such a stupid mistake. I wouldn't have obtained her phone number if she had decided to message me through noise instead. After all, Noise is strictly an online service. No need for phone numbers. It's kind of like lying or something. Come to think of it, where did you get my phone number from? Oh, shit. Oh, was I written on that website? <laughs> well, no matter. It worked out in the end. I slumped down to the couch in front of the TV and keep my phone firmly gripped in one hand. My knuckles whitening. I start to bite out the fingernails on my other hand out of anxiety. In an attempt to distract myself, I switch the TV on and stream some stupid reality shows. Ah, uh, she's, she's just like me for real. <laughs> I'm gonna watch Love is Blind. The distraction hardly works, and I find myself instinctively glancing at my phone every couple of minutes, waiting for any kind of update on Kurosawa's online status. Just in the GC, they're like, oh my god, Kurosawa's dead. The evening passes slowly. Oh god dang it, there's already a bot in chat. Go away. Okay. Sunlight streams through the open curtains, and I startle. Did I fall asleep on the couch? I wipe my phone with my sleep, cleaning off a trickle of the drool from my chin. I feel like it's gonna be important that she um had her number, but I don't I don't know how. My phone is still in one hand, and I quickly check it. I tap the fingerprint smeared screen, but it's not responding. The battery died. I must have fallen asleep and left the screen on all night. I race towards my charger and plug it in, anxiously waiting for just enough energy to turn the phone screen back on. This woman is obsessed. After what seems like an eternity, the phone comes to life. I catch a glimpse of the clock as I swipe the lock screen away. 6.43 a.m. Okay, that's definitely not like me. <laughs> that's like when I go to bed. I open the noise as quickly as I can flick through to Kurosawa's profile. I didn't really give a time frame on like how long it was gonna take for her to die, right? I was thinking like a week or something maybe? This profile is private. She blocked me, that bitch! Yeah, gonna frame me. me. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> that bitch. She can take the heat, text her girl, be like, hey, yo, girl, are you dead yet? <laughs> Just text her, you know? I frantically navigate to the group chat only to find that I've been kicked out. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> what can I do now? I've got no way of knowing whether Kurosawa is still alive. Girl, get a wig and then go visit the store. You could like creep outside with like sunglasses and like a wig on and just be like, You dead yet, girl? You dead yet? You dead yet? <laughs> What about the other girls too? Come on. You, I know you want to slay them as well. I slam my phone down in frustration and it vibrates in retaliation. Huh? Another text message. Okay. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god, somebody put me on the website too, didn't they? I bet it was Kurosawa, that bitch. She got her picture of her corpse and she was like, oh no. Oh hell no, girl. I'll put your name on Corpse Girl's website. See how you like it when Kazuna kills you. 
It might be Kurosawa again trying to rub my face in her victory. It's totally gonna be my dead body. <laughs> At least I would know that she's still alive. I hesitantly pick my phone up again and open the message. Yeah! <laughs> fucking rip, girl. Fucking rip. There's no text. Just a photo attachment. Ooh! Oh! Sta oh! Stabbed to death, maybe? Man, they were so quick! I bet it was... I bet it was those bitches, girl. Put them on... Put them on the rest of the website. Put them... Put them on the website, too. Yeah, I kind of like to imagine that it's just Kazuna that comes and kills you when you put them on the website. I'm just gonna imagine that for... For, um... For my sake. Man, it seems like... Oh, hey! It puts the date, too! So, 13th, 7... 28 a.m. Oh. I know it was those bitches that did this to me. They just say frame me for the money and they were like, no, not good enough. <gasps> Wait. I don't trust, I don't trust that other girl with like the baby voice. What was her name? Was it Sato or something? Oh, Owie. Owie. I don't, I don't know if I trust her. Did I, did she, I wonder if like Emmy bully? Oh, maybe because Owie was like, Saying there was something she wanted to put on the website, but she was too scared to do it. I wonder if she could have been talking about Emmy and maybe like she was bullied by Emmy or something in school or something. I don't know. I'm just I'm just speculating. I nearly dropped my phone in terror. The blood, the photo of a dead body, twisted, crumbled like it had fallen from a great height. A splatter of blood. It's flecked across the grass. Okay, so she got pushed off or something. It's hard to make out the details of the person. Dirty blonde hair, familiar clothes, smudged makeup. This dead body, is it supposed to be me? There can be no mistaking it. Without a doubt, this is a picture of my own corpse. I shriek again, unable to process what I'm seeing. I'm so entranced by the battered corpse that it takes me a minute to notice the timestamp at the corner of the photo. Oh, it's today's day. Dang, that was, that was, that was quick. It's today's date, but something's off. The time says... Oh, God! It's like, isn't it like 6 o'clock right now? We, we, don't, we don't have any time, man. It's about an hour from now. I shiver involuntarily and feel the sickening sensation of bile rising in my throat. Is this a prediction of my death? Am I going to die within the hour? Ah, oh, it's interesting, too. We get to see it from her pers perspective. I mean... I guess we'll see, because I'm kind of assuming, honestly, that she's going to die. We're going to switch protagonists at this point. It'll be kind of cool to see, you know, how it, like, leads up to it. I wonder if the other girl is going to be, like, detective girl trying to track down. Or maybe she just is corpse girl. I don't, I don't judge her for that. And then the truth hits me harder than my face hit the ground in this grisly photo. It's kind of dark, but I like what you're going for. I like the... <laughs> I like the poetry there. When you request a death on Corpse Girl's website, your victim receives a photo of their own corpse before they die. Before they die. Or, oh, you know, it could have been Kurosawa died and then the other girls realized it was the... It was this girl who did it and then they put her on there. Maybe. Maybe. I can't look at it anymore. I throw my phone to the side and curl up on the floor. Did Corpse Girl send this to me? And how? How did somebody get a photo of my corpse? A photo that is seemingly from the future. It's it's impossible. It, it has to be a hoax. Some trick, some psycho tormenting me. Yeah, that's all it is. Someone is messing with me. I like how she believed it when it was her trying to kill Kurosawa, but now she's like, no, th that's not real. That's fake. <laughs> that's, that's lies and slander. That would never happen to me. Probably Kurosawa. Could never. I get up off the floor and stumble around. I'm kind of lightheaded and unbalanced. And my stomach feels queasy, ready to launch its contents through my throat at any second. I blindly reach around for my phone and finally grasp it with near frozen fingers. The phone number that sent this photo is an unknown number, but the digits don't match the number that Kurosawa texted me from yesterday. So it's unlikely this came from her. Bizarrely, the phone number is kind of weird. There are more digits than should be possible. I try to count them, but stumble a few times in confusion. I could see her, like, accidentally falling off her balcony just because she's, like, so scared, you know what I mean? I eventually conclude the number. Number has 18 digits. Oh, way. Way too many. In addition, the phone number seems to repeat digits a lot. <laughs> Lots of 666s. 
<laughs> oh my god, it's Satan calling. You're gonna pick up? It seems too strange to be real. Is it possible to fake a phone number? It's a slave phone number. Something interesting catches my attention. Even though the caller ID doesn't recognize the number, it has data on the origin of the number. Tokyo, Japan. My, my very own city. Perhaps the sender of the photo can mask their number, but can't hide their location? This gives me an idea, and I decide to go to the bottom of the situation, despite my head throbbing and my stomach pleading to be emptied. I punch the phone number into a search engine along with the keyword Tokyo. One result. Oh, girl. The link points to a popular discussion board. Noise channel. It's an anonymous board where users can talk about almost anything. Okay. And no big surprise, it's owned and operated by the very same company behind the noise. Okay, they're they're really suspicious too. Not not just because they're highlighted, but also because they're highlighted behind the noise app I use on my phone. They're like funding, they funding Corpse Squirrel. I tap the link and get taken to a discussion topic from less than a week ago. I quickly read through it. Topic, strange photo from unknown number. Hey, like, so today I got a strange gore for, photo from a number I don't even have in my contacts. Sort of like Satan or something, I don't know. Not sure what the deal is. It was, like, kind of gross, though. Wondering if any hackers... <laughs> I cannot spell. Any hackers can trace the number or something? It's 666-3666-22666. Oh, it's just like, uh, 3324? Three, what does it mean? Seems like Tokyo area. I'm in Osaka or something. Okay, thanks in advance. Oh shit, I just fell off my balcony. The topic has only one reply. You're dead, bitch. Let's see. One reply. Restrange photo from unknown number. Let's see. You got this too? Was the gore photo a picture of yourself? I'm worried. I received a similar pic from the same number. It's gonna die in like five minutes or something. Thinking about contact, contacting, contacting the police. Not sure if I'm over. I don't know. What would the police even say to that, honestly? And that's it. The end of the discussion. Neither poster followed up on the conversation. I wonder why. Damn it. That's all. Oh my god. <laughs> be kind of funny if like uh, the reply to that post would just seem to be like an L plus ratio <laughs> or something. <laughs> and the only reply was L plus ratio from Corpse Girl. God, she's too evil. That didn't give me anything to go on. Except now I know that at least two other people have received bloody photos of themselves. I wonder if those photos were as extreme as the one I received. What happened to those two posters? Why didn't they continue their discussion? I feel myself beginning to sweat. My body is going from cold to hot and back again several times a minute. It feels like I have a fever, but I know it's just stress tearing me up. I, I check the time. It's 6.59 a.m. About half an hour until the time printed on the photo. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, she's here! No! <laughs> it's Corpse Squirrel! I take a deep breath and the doorbell buzzes. I freeze in place, unsure whether I should answer the door. In this sketchy apartment building. It's a risk to answer the door on any given day. This place is supposed to be sketchy. Her apartment looks nice as hell, dude. Really. It looks so nice. It's a risk to answer the door on any given day before taking into consideration that some psycho just texted me a photo of my own corpse. I tiptoe towards the door on stiff legs and gaze through the people. I was like, do not open that. There's, there, there's no one there. Oh, I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be more nervous from that, honestly. I breathe a sigh of relief, lock, lock it, barricade it, get the couch, move it in front of the door before the corpse squirrel can get you. Maybe I'm just on edge and the doorbell echoed from someone else's apartment. Okay, Delulu. Besides, I don't know what of anyone who would visit me unannounced, especially this early in the morning. I, I slumped to the floor, my back sliding down the door as I come to rest on the carpet. My legs splayed out haphazardly in front of me. I've had enough fear for one day. I have to just believe this whole thing is a hoax. It, it's it's probably karma for trying to get revenge on Kurosawa. Yeah, that's it, Kar karma. The doorbell rings again and I scream in shock, my head slamming the back back against the door I was resting against. Just imagine her like looking through and it's like that well from the ring. <laughs> the corpse girl just comes out of it. I jump to my feet ignoring the people, this time simply swinging the door wide open. Girl, why are you- why are you- don't- don't open the door! Don't do it! She's gonna get you! 
This girl, okay, okay. A gust of chilly morning air sweeps to my apartment and I shut my eyes tightly with the sudden cold. My messy hair tangles in the wind and obscures my vision when I open my eyes. I'm like, girl, you kind of had to come and open the door for this. Why would you open the door? <laughs> Quickly, I sweep the air in my face and look around. There's no one here except... Oh. Oh my god, Kurosawa, girl, is that you? <laughs> I feel like that's you. A metal trolley is blocking the way in front of my door. A stark white bag along, about the size of a human body rests atop the trolley. Oh my god, girl, do you lose weight? Oh, hey, girl. My heart begins to race as I immediately recognize what this is. On TV, they show these trolleys used in morgues to cart dead bodies around. Dead bodies. The vomit that has been trying to escape my body all morning finally finds its way out of my mouth. I retch and heave in the doorway until nothing is left inside my belly except the stinging stomach acid that threatens to burn through its fleshy container. The stench wafting from the trolley is overwhelming. I feel like it is Kurosawa. That's, that's my guess, but we'll see. Pinching my nostrils close, closed is little more than trap the horrific odor inside my own skull, and I gag and splutter involuntarily. Wait, it's like, no, not Kurosawa, the, the one Kurosawa simp in chat. I can fix her, guys, I swear. My hand reaches forward as through, as though controlled by some being other than myself. I can't pull it back, and I can't prevent my fingers from grasping the zipper tag attached to the front of the body bag. I can sip the bag. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, it's me! And there I am, a wretched corpse exposed to the day's first rays of sunlight. Is this corpse? Corpse squirrels, all, is this how she usually gets people to die? Just let, by freaking them out, jump scaring them? I stand here in the doorway as I lay there atop the trolley, simultaneously alive and dead, but more dead than alive with both bodies. The bruising in my face- Man, I was kind of hoping it was Kurosawa though, not gonna lie. The bruising in my face is horrific, and I reach a stiff finger to my own lips. My living lips, tracing the outline of the bruise I see before me. Is she gonna get up and kill me? There's no pain of where the bruise should be. And I breathe a sigh of relief. Why would there be any pain if I'm already dead? To feel pain would be absurd. Then I would really, really have to start worrying. You know, it'd be kind of interesting if, like, the corpse girl description says you kill somebody when you, like, send, like, it says you, like, when you send the photo of, like, Kurosawa, they're going to kill Kurosawa. But what if it just kills, like, the anonymous person that posts it? It's like some, they're on their, like, Kinjo Light Yagami shit, and they're like, how dare this person want to kill somebody else? Therefore, I shall kill them. It's kind of, I feel like that could potentially be it, though. Just a thought, though. I wonder how I died. Did, did I fall from a great height? Did somebody hit me with a car? Or did I collapse from some internal reason? Perhaps from organ failure or some undiagnosed sickness? Maybe I didn't die and the corpse in front of me is alive? Living and breathing just as I do while standing in front of myself? Maybe this is all a prank. I pulled up myself. Dying. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh my god, this is all a prank I pulled up myself. Oh, thank you, Ty. I heard this game has Kazuna Pro Tag, so I had to come here immediately. Welcome, Ty. <laughs> Lots of Kazuna references in this game so far. Not gonna lie. I think you'd like it. Oh, wait. Let me, uh... Oh, crap. Am I... Am I actually skipping this? Oh, no! Wait, let me look at the log. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for being a member, Ty. I appreciate you. Okay, my head's splitting. I can't think straight. The thoughts in my mind are jumbled. The meanings behind unspoken words disappearing behind foggy clouds inside my shattered skull. To clear my head, I step around my corpse and stand by the walkway's railing. I'm on the fourth floor of the apartment building. I see it coming already. There's two floors above me, so I could go higher if I wish. But I'm pretty sure a leap from here will be enough to render my living body identical to that corpse of the trolley. Girl, don't do it. Don't do it. I really thought she was going to get get jump scared and then like fall off, but we'll see. At this point in time, there exists two versions of Emi Katsuno. One is living. One is living and is me, and the other is dead, but it's like, also me? I can choose now to be alive and dead, or be dead and dead, but I cannot choose to be alive and alive. And even if I choose to be alive and dead, I'm st I'll still only be half alive. <laughs> this looks like some Kingdom Hearts shit, dude. <laughs> I can be alive and dead, but dead and alive, but I can't be alive alive. I must be dead alive, live dead. But choosing, 
but choosing dead and dead is nice and clean. Absolute and indisputably solid state of existing. I grip the cool steel handrail and lean over the walkway. My hair whipping against my face thanks to the relentless wind. Four stories below me is a small courtyard. Oh, it's the same place that you saw the corpse girl. Get away from the railing! What are you doing, girl? Four stories below me is a small courtyard paved with concrete and decorated with the occasional shrub or flower. I missed the concrete by about two feet. Why? Why? Turn spray. Okay, she chose to be dead dead, I guess. Did I miss a part when she was like, yeah, being dead dead sounds great. We love that. We love that for me. Oh, thank you, Shane. Hi, Weeby. First time attending one of your streams. Love your vids. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate the dono. Thanks for stopping by. You came at a, you came at a really interesting time. Girl, why? Turd sprays up in the air as my nose is crunched under my own body weight. I think about the photo Kurakawa sent me with her smug smile on her hands full of stolen money. And my teeth grind into my tongue and sever it, but doesn't it manage to escape my closed mouth? My mind wanders and settles on Corpse Girl's website. What was that all about anyways? As far as I know, nothing happened when I submitted Kurosawa's details. I really think it's like targeting the people who do submit the information. Ah, oh, poor Twy! <laughs> right when you get here, your girl dies. Rip. Rip to the goat. <laughs> Maybe Kurosawa found the website as well and submitted my details first. I guess Corpse Girl got me. Well played, Kurosawa. I think I can taste the blood in my mouth, but it might just be a memory from some other point in my lifetime. A blinking light from a nearby parked car kind of irritates me, but then my vision turns blue or black, and my only concern is how I'll never, tru never truly know what. Girl, what? Oh my god. Huh, interesting. She just went on that epic rap, and then she decided to slay herself, man? I guess it's just like it gives you an urge to die or something? Huh. Oh, prologue clear. Okay, nice. That was a good prologue, though. Was definitely uh, did a good job of uh, getting me interested in this. Noriko Kurosawa. Oh, hey! Kurosawa! Is that this like her sister or something? Three weeks earlier. <laughs> this is a really intense prologue. Hey, it's the main girl! Here we go. Oh, thank you, big chunk of costume Bridget. I know nothing about what is happening or what this game is about. Is this Corpse Party sequel? No, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's not, it's uh, its its own thing. It's kind of like, I put the summary in the description. It's like, uh, there's this website and you submit like a name and a photo of somebody if you want them to be murdered. And um, well, I guess spoiler alert, but our first pro tag just got, <laughs> just got, <laughs> just got axed so that there's that. But now we got our new pro tag and look at her. She's slaying so hard, we love that. Ah, David! Happy birthday! For my birthday, the only thing I got was a deck of sticky playing cards. I'm having a hard time <laughs> dealing with it. Ah, got him. I love your jokes, David. I hope you have an awesome birthday, by the way. And uh, thanks for stopping by the stream. I'm not totally sure what you're going to be up to today, but I hope you have a good one. And thanks for the playlist, too. I'm going to listen to that later. To be honest, I don't see... Oh, yeah, and thank you, Shade, for becoming a member. Appreciate you. To be honest, I don't see any of Father's features in my- Oh yeah, I'm not- Oh no, I can't do- I can't do the Kazuna voice anymore. She probably have like a rave voice, honestly, like a deeper voice. To be honest, I don't see any of my father's features in myself. Or my sister's. But I do agree that my eyes are exact replicas of mother's. Mother. I feel like- I don't know, the word mother is just like so creepy. In like these games, you know? Oh, I skipped some text. Where, where was the text that I skipped? Critical about parts of my body. Never complain. Um... I don't know. It might have been from before. Wait, I skipped a lot? Where did I, where did I skip? How did I skip? How do I go back? Hmm. Oh wait, no, no, I did not want to skip. Log. Um. Just do your car lacquer voice and you'll be good. That's just my own voice. Was that, um, crap, was it, uh, you skipped lots. You did skip a small bit when you were chatting. No, dang it. Was it um was it her lines or was it the other girls? I suppose the other girls, I kinda wanna go back and see what she was saying. Okay, 
Okay, I'll just read the top. I always like the shape of my eyes. I can be critical about other parts of my body, but I've never, I never complained about my eyes. With or without makeup, I think they look great. Mother used to tell me I inherited her eyes. My big sister inherited father's eyes. To be honest, I don't see any of father's features in myself or my sister, but I do agree that my eyes are exact replicas of mother's. Mother doesn't see too well anymore, but that might be something I have to also worry about in the future. But for now, my eyes are perfect, and I couldn't be happier with them. Yeah, so the scroll skips text. That's kind of what's messing me up sometimes with uh, accidentally skipping them. I wear eyeshadow and eyeliner to bring out my best features. Some people tell me I use too much makeup, that I tend to overdo it and make myself look intimidating. Well, I don't really care. I mostly like the way I look. As you should, Queen. And honestly, how many people can claim the same? Today's morning ritual is the same as any other workday. I'm a slave to the wage. I'm not proud of it, aren't we all? Call me a corporate sellout, but I can't survive without money. My alarm goes off at 6 a.m. The shower's running by 6.05, and I'm dry and dressed by 6.15. Is auto always on? No, I don't think auto's on. It's really just the scroll thing, I think, uh, that's messing me up. I think I just kind of play with it sometimes, and I'm, like, reading super chats. <laughs> I think I just always kind of did that during like Danganronpa and other stuff and it never really like, you know, mattered So uh, I just kind of I have to I gotta put my hand away from the from the mouse I skipped breakfast because I was watching my figure and spin until 6 30 a.m. working my makeup poor girl Out of all my out of my cramped shoebox apartment at 6 45 a.m. I was kind of wondering what her age was I was like is she gonna be Seems like she's an adult too, also lives in an apartment. Sometimes I catch my neighbor returning home from his overnight shift, and if so, I exchange simple pleasantries with him and continue on my way. Today, there is no sign of my neighbor, so I don't slow down as I descend the stairs and exit the building. I like the music for this game too so far. It's been pretty good. Hitting the convenience store for a can of coffee saps another few minutes from each day. I prefer sweet milk coffees. Oh yeah, she does. She says she was a corporate slave, duh. So I guess, did she actually work at like a, a company? I just wouldn't really imagine somebody working at like a corporate company with like a red <laughs> hair strand, you know? The TikTok hair strand. But even now, and then, I'm in the mood for rich black coffee. Regardless, I never start the day without it. I don't always need the energy boost, but it helps me to stop my stomach growling. Oh man. It's a milk, ki milk coffee kind of day, so I pay... Pay for my favorite brand and get out of the store in no time. The canned coffee dives into my handbag as I continue on my way. I don't know. I don't overanalyze it too much, but, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Skipping breakfast for coffee. It just does not seem like a good idea. I mean, kind of seems like she might have some kind of eating disorder. I was like, I don't want to over-speculate, but I just, you know, I can see myself doing that. So I'm like, it seems a little too familiar. The train station's always busy in the morning, and it's usually a struggle to navigate my way to the correct platform in time for the 7.12 a.m. train. Today is no different. However, I always make it in time because my routine has been perfect, perfected over the last few months. I board the train, bound for Shinjuku. A cursory glance reveals... Uh, maybe she works at the factory! Uh, the corpse factory! Oh, oh. They just create corpses. We love to see it. Aboard the train, bound for Shinjuku. A cursor glance reveals there are no empty seats, so I push through the throng of bodies and stand against the carriage wall. Oh, thank you, big chunk of costumed Bridget. Okay, pe profile pick by Kuji Kawai. I uh, can't really get too good of a look at it. It's so small. I'm getting some strong Reko vibes from this girl. I feel she's gonna be another weeby waifu. I can see it, dude. She's so pretty, man. Oh, that was like one of the big reasons why I wanted to play this game. I was like, oh, the main girl's so pretty. And she seems crazy. It was like, just my type. Just my type. When I do read, I read the classics. Stoker, Lovecraft, Poe, horror, Western horror. At that is my, and that is my favorite genre. And of course, faithful translations into Japanese are as good as it gets. My English isn't nearly strong enough to read these novels in the original language. If I'm stuck staring at my phone screen, I like to stalk people online, acquaintances, or the few friends I have. I have lead such boring lives. She's just like me for real. <laughs> they post about the most mundane topics all day every day, acting like they'll shrivel up and die unless they get the attention they seek. Hate scrolling on Facebook, girl. I feel you. I find their dull, tedious lives simply fascinating. From behind the safety of a glass veil, I can fulfill my voyeuristic... <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Voyeuristic fetishes and consume as much pointless information as I desire. Knowing every mundane tidbit of people's daily lives. <laughs> okay, girl! <laughs> okay, girl! <laughs> you know, we all, we all have hobbies! We all have hobbies, but you know, we don't have to, we don't have to say, I guess she's just thinking this, because I was going to say, you don't have to say everything that comes to mind. You don't have to say it, but I guess this is her thoughts. It is her thoughts, though, so, you know, just keep it inside, girl. Just keep it inside. Just keep it inside. Turns me on. This morning is the same as any other. I st <laughs> Not like me, for real. I take it back. I take it back. I stared at her on the phone held in my frail hand. Yeah, Cindy, you go to Starbucks. You get that caramel macchiato. What, what is wrong with this girl? <laughs> what is wrong with this girl? My fingers move their own concord. A cord scrolling and tapping against the backlit display. Pausing, pondering, pouncing on any post or picture that my pupils have yet to consume. Standing the train carriage, packed the gills with people. I can't help but feel my face getting What is wrong with this? What is up with this girl? <laughs> oh my god. I can't help but feel my face getting flushed and my steamy breath escaping my... <laughs> They're just like carving pumpkins and shit on the timeline. I digest post after post, photo after photo, memorizing the comings and goings of every single person on my noise activity feed. What is wrong with this app? I blame the app. I catch my breathing. Getting heavier. My gas becoming short and sharp. Ray. Oh, Ray. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Ray. Oh my god. She's here. Ray, I missed you, girl. Oh, how you doing? How you doing? Ray went to the dentist yesterday for a root canal. Mizuno shared some photos from her international vacation. Oh my god, Mexico. We love to see it. Kawahara ob objects, to owning, objects to owning pets and thinks all animals should be free. My cheeks glow crimson. My chest begins rising and falling quickly. I clutch the collar of my shirt. Knuckles whitening. Knees shaking. A few people in the carriage start to... <laughs> Jesus, I thought that blonde girl from yesterday was bad. <laughs> but this girl, she's getting off on Facebook posts. A few people in the carriage start to move away from me, but I barely notice them. My fingers keep scrolling, and I hit the jackpot. Somebody ordered a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. Oh, that's that's the good shit. Oh, wait, oopsie. Um, let, me, let me go back. I think I might have actually skipped it. My fingers keep scrolling and hit the jackpot. A new post from a co-worker at my office. Tomei Watanabe. She's a gal girl. Okay, GL. The type with a heavy thick... Oh, no, never mind. What is... What's that? It's like uh, that thing that Junko was, right? Um, Whatchamacallit? The Gyaru? Is that what she is? She's a gal girl. The type with a heavy thick tan, bleached blonde hair, and questionable clothes. I hate her, but I love her posts. This morning update reads. It's so mo mo. Oh yeah, that's the good shit right there. <laughs> just, oh, just from this like corpse girl website. Okay, we got another Kazuna. It's such a fake bull. Uh -huh. Waiting to meet, waiting to meet a bitch to try it on. Tomo just discovered corpse girl's website, huh? I feel a slight squeal trying to escape from my throat as my legs threaten to buckle underneath me. This girl's so extra. I can't take the excitement anymore. I have to force my phone from my hands and bury it at the bottom of my handbag. Deep breaths, Noriko. Deep breaths. I need to calm down and control myself. Composure is key. I don't think there's any point. Everybody on the train is scared of you right now. They're all on like, the opposite side of the train. like. 20 seats over. Oh, thank you. A big chunk of costume, Bridget. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Post about how you just bought a new pair of shoes. Despite owning three pairs you never put on. You know how I look. <laughs> That's basically her. Basically her. Oh, I see she got some. I see Emmy got some knock knockoff converse. Oh, yeah. Post about those knockoffs, girl. 
<laughs> oh my god. Feeling a little calmer and no longer ready to explode. I analyze the information I just read. Timo wants to try out Corpse Girl's website. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> this girl's so so psycho. She seems so normal at first. I was like, maybe she's not crazy. Now I'm like. <sighs> Rumor has that you can visit the website and request the death of somebody you know. How and if the victim dies isn't known to the public. Because of that, some people are pretty quick to dismiss this site as a hoax. However, the most interesting part isn't how or if the victim dies, but rather what happens to the victim before they die. Supposedly the victim will receive a photo of their own corpse. I still feel like that girl Owie was pretty uh, sus, because we just saw her for like a split second. I wonder if we're going to see her as this girl too, you know what I mean? Uh, thank you, R regret <laughs> me. <laughs> what a relatable name. After the Danganronpa stream, I can't tell if we're all nuts and it feels good. Second stream here. Cheers. Oh, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this game. It's been it's been really interesting so far. It seems I'm surprised there's more people not talking about this. Hopefully the stream can kind of get more people to check it out. It's been really uh, very entertaining so far. How this photo exists before the victim's life is snuffed out isn't public knowledge. But the thought of this phenomenon occurring is utterly... And this girl's so crazy, she's gonna do it to herself. <laughs> Nevertheless, the site has been gaining popularity lately. At least in certain corners of the internet. Message boards like Noise Channel and other similar sites have picked up on the rumors and like to exaggerate the website's authenticity. The fact that someone like Tomo, a rather dense, dim-witted individual, has discovered the website means that it's actually more well-known than I previously thought. It means that people are actually talking about it outside of the internet. Chances are good that Tomo will want to try it out and request the death of someone in the office. A co-worker. Me, perhaps. She hates my guts as much as I fucking hate hers. Finally, something exciting's gonna happen in our Dull workplace. The next station is Shinjuku. The doors on the right side will open. Please change here for the Chuo line. Hmm. The Shonan Shinjuku line. I was gonna say the to Saikyo write. Line. I was gonna say to write her, uh, you know, her friend's name down first. You know what I mean? Or not her friend, Tomo's name down. But I was like, I can't tell if that actually, uh, what you call it, that actually will, <laughs> that actually will kill you not from requesting the death. I guess we'll see. I, I kind of feel like it does, though. As the automated announcement reads through a list of connecting train lines, I get ready to disembark. The train pulls to a top. Uh, cannot speak. A stop, and I contour my body around the other passengers in an attempt to exit the train. She's a Soka now! <laughs> Not the Soka comparison! Oh, God. Finally, through the tangled mass of flesh, I hasten my pace and navigate the labyrinth station. I take the exit clo closest to my office and settle into a slower walk. I'm on time. Never desire to reach the office any earlier than needed. It's nice how many CGs this game has uh, so far. It doesn't take long for the looming office tower to enter my field of vision. 32 stories of office space all crammed into one sleek, slim tower. Tenu Tenujin? Tenujin? I'm trying to read the name. Oh, okay. The name. Temujin is stamp stamped across the structure in gigantic block letters. If you're looking for this building in Shinjuku, you can't possibly miss it. I was like trying to see if there was any kind of, I don't know, like if you spelled it backwards or something that means anything. Nejum et. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Nejum carries the title of Japan's third biggest banking corporation. I cannot think of a more boring job than working for a banking company. It's a gigantic company with other branches in Kyoto, Osaka, Sapporo, Fukuoka, and a dozen smaller cities I can't even bother to remember. I've worked there for close to three months now. Not a long time in the grand scheme of things. That said, I'm, not, I'm only a temp, and all I do is data entry. I work for the 14th floor along with about 60 other junior employees, including that gal girl, Tomo Watanabe. I don't speak of many of my co-workers. That's the way I like it. So pretty. When I reach the building, I enter the dry, gigantic, the giant double, double sliding doors and find myself in the familiar lobby. Comfortable couches line the walls, circling a reception desk. Four large elevators are tucked away in a nook behind the reception desk. Oh, thank you, regret. regret. Why do I have PTSD when, when it's these games? 
Oh man, it's like we started playing and not even that long ago and somebody already died. So I feel like I feel like that might be it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like you can never you can never feel you can never feel safe, man. Thank you for the dono. I appreciate you. Yeah, it was uh, Genghis Khan's real name. Oh, okay, interesting. So, uh, oh, oh, so that's what happens. It's when I scroll the chat that uh, it does that. Okay, I need to exit out of the game whenever I scroll the chat. That's when it skips the text. I was like wondering, I was like, maybe that makes sense. Okay. My bad. I'll have to keep that in mind. Don't speak to my coworkers, but a couple couches line the walls, circling a recep reception desk. Four large elevators are tucked in a nook behind the reception desk. It's already busy this morning. Though to be fair, this place is packed all the time. I avoid the crowds of sharply dressed business people, feeling a little out of place in my semi-formal skirt and shirt. I feel like she was dressed like a goth GF. I'm not gonna lie. Ducking to it. That was another reason why I was like, surely we're gonna start a corporate company dressed like the goth, the goth GF. <laughs> Ducking to a newly opened elevator, I tap my employee ID card on a backlit panel and press the button on my floor. The door is closed and the elevator begins its smooth ascent. I'm surprised to find that I'm, on the, that I'm the only one traveling up. I reach my floor and listen to the soothing chime as the door is open, revealing the open layout office before me. I want to meet uh, Timo, the, the gal girl. I feel like I'm probably butchering her name. I apologize in advance. The static drone of workspace noise fills my ears. Con conversation, ringing phones, fingers tapping against the keyboards, photocopiers, even the steady low hum of the air conditioner contributes to the overall din. I make my way to my desk, stationed in the middle of the floor and surrounded by a dozen other identical desks. As I walk, somebody taps me on the shoulder gently. Good morning, Kurosawa. Oh, okay. Oh my god, he gives me major male wife vibes. Shin Shinya? Ah, Shinya Fujikawa. My senior, though he's really only a couple of months older than me. He has worked here for a whole year after taking an internship straight out of senior high school. He's not an intern anymore, though. I'm not quite sure of his job title. Morning, Fujikawa. Ah, she's so pretty! Look at her! She really is dressed like a goth <laughs> Is that, is that, I mean, like, it's, it's still stylish, but, you know, like, the choker, the bow, like, I, I, I just see it. Thank you, big chunk of costumed Bridget. She says she hates Toma, but she sounds mad first, thirsty for that gal, I'm predicting that by the end of the stream, they're gonna be the OTP for these streams. I feel like they might die before, before we get the chance, to be honest, <laughs> unfortunately, but I guess we'll see. I want to believe, you know, I want to believe. I need to save more often, too. <laughs> I want to believe, but I do. I do be a little worried about that. I feel like, I don't know. I think she's going to be the main character the rest of the game, but the way that they put their names beforehand, it makes me wonder if she's going to die too or we're going to have to switch to somebody else. How was your commute this morning? Oh my god, already simping, <laughs> simping in chat for Shinya. Hi. He's cute. As usual. That's good to hear. I, um, mm. did you read any of your novels? <laughs> any of your weird, creepy novels? He's referring to the horror books I like to read. I can tell from his tone that he doesn't exactly approve of the subject matter. Girl, I'd way rather you read some Edgar Allan Poe than thirst scroll on Facebook or whatever the hell that was. I've known Shinya since junior high. We go way back, but I wouldn't exactly call us friends. However, he is the one that landed me this job, even though it's just a temporary contract. I've always had the feeling that he's a bit sweet on me. I could be way off the mark, though. He's such a cutie pie, man. He does kind of remind me of Yuki. I saw some people saying that in uh, the chat. Oh, he's wearing fake. Yu <laughs> he's wearing uh, Yuki's outfit. Oh, that's well, a good one. I couldn't get a seat on the train today. It does look Too like his outfit. To read while standing. Oh my god. Everybody was like, everybody was like scared of me, and on the opposite side of the train. I wonder why. That's so weird. Uh, that's a shame. <laughs> um, you uh. Still haven't accepted my uh, friend request. Did you know? <laughs> oh, this poor dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I've ignored that like five times. Oh, poor guy, man. He's trying. He's trying so hard. I have to fight the urge to roll my eyes. He's a nice guy, but we were connected on noise once before, and I had to delete him. He's super obsessed with his father's detective work, and all he ever posts about is his assumptions and theories on petty crime cases. Normally, I'd find another, uh, find any one of my friends list fascinating. But here's the thing: Shinya never posts about his personal life. He never posts about his pumpkin spice lattes. I fucking know you buy those. Post about it on Facebook. 
I must see it. All he writes are long-winded rants on boring cases. I feel like I would enjoy his Facebook way more than hers. It's far beyond the amount of dullness I can even stand. He just posts about crime, disgusting. Posts about the off-brand converse. I fish on my phone out of my hand back and pretend that I'm looking at noise. Oh, how about that? Looks like I don't have any incoming friend requests. <laughs> I must have ignored it, silly me. I quickly dip my phone back into my bag. Poor, poor guy, man, getting rejected. How peculiar. <laughs> Well, I'll try and nudge again later. Ah, dude, she's rejecting you. She's rejecting you. I feel like he doesn't see it. Sure, no problem. Why is he blushing? Is he like being rejected? Well, anyway, I better get to it. Work hard today, okay? You got it. I love Erica's voice. She always does such a good job. She offers a formal bow and goes, formal bow and goes on his way. A formal bow. He bought me a bow. Before I can take a step towards my desk, a mocking voice whispers in my ear. Oh, is this Tomo? Ugh. Oh. How long are you going to lead on sweet little Shinya? Oh. Oh, my God. Girl, are you allowed to wear that at work? <laughs> that kind of reminds me of... Was it a... I guess kind of a Kane's outfit from Danganronpa 2, but I think uh, Junko had a similar outfit to that, too. I was like, girl, can are you allowed to wear this at work? <laughs> While the banking, you know, they just... They're a lot more open-minded than I thought. I shiver and find Tomo Watanabe lurking right behind me, buzzing around my neck like an irritating mosquito. Oh, poor boy really has the hots for you. When are you gonna tell him you're a cold-hearted psycho? <laughs> Her voice! Oh my god, she reminds me of that girl from Somnium! The, uh, what was it? The girl at the desk? The hots for ya. When are you gonna tell him you're a cold-hearted psycho? Oh man, I love her voice. Listen, I'm not leading him on. I just really love Facebook, okay? We all... Some of us are just like that, okay? Stop kick-shaming me! Huh. Sounds like something a real psychotype would say, don't you reckon? Reckon? Of course, this is none other than the gal girl to mow. The very same bread dead Bre Brenda? Oh my god, I cannot, I cannot speak. Brain dead moron who posted this morning about wanting to try Corpse Girl's website. Oh my god, could you like, could you like pretty please send me a picture later, Noriko? I would just like love that, no reason. I just think you're so beautiful. She's, oh, she's Kazuna. She does, she does give off Kazuna vibes, for sure. We got a new one. I was like, I feel like Twy probably left. We can, we can tell him to come back. We got a new, we got a new Kazuna. She loves to torment me any chance she gets. Maybe I rubbed her the wrong way somehow, though I'm not sure what I ever did to her. Even though she's a data entry temp like me, she's worked here for just a little longer than I have. Unfortunate br bread dead. <laughs> Guys, speaking's hard, okay? Speaking's hard. Unfortunately, that means I have to defer to her as my superior in this professional environment. She knows as much and likes to take advantage of the fact as often as possible. It's funny, you know. He don't look like the type of skank to lead on a goody-goody like Shinya. <laughs> I told you, I'm not leading him on. Well... If you're not interested, maybe I'll take him out this weekend and tongue him at the cinema. Oh my god. Uh, gross. <clears throat> Do what you want, but I doubt he's into someone with your... Uh, <clears throat> looks. <laughs> looks. He likes, you know, the natural type like me, the goth GF, not the, not the cheerleader GF. Oh yeah, what would you know? You think he likes your flat chest, little Miss <laughs> Gothic Lolita? <laughs> HC Watson! You're flat, yeah, no. <laughs> Look how she says that. Yeah, no. Like how it smells like that, too. That's funny. Thank you, regret. Off topic, but I missed your turn to die. Oh, I know. Me, too. Hopefully, we get an update soon. It's been a while. But, uh, oh, your turn to die is so good. I guess, uh, I'm not totally sure uh, what non Kadai's like, updates are on that, but that's such a good series. Oh, wow. Thank you, Michael. First time I can catch stream. Really enjoy the content. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. That's a very generous donation as well. So, uh, I appreciate it. I hope you have fun at the stream, too. I know I should shrug off comments such as this, and normally I would, but backing down from Timo isn't something I can do easily. I'll give you a tip. Guys like Shinya are smart. Mm. Clever. It's too smart for you. If you want to impress him, don't let him know your head is as full of air as your inflatable breath. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh shit! A flash of crimson lights up Timo's fate. T Maybe it's Tomo. I feel like I'm almost saying her late name like Timon from Timon and Boomba. <laughs> Timo. Tomo. I'll say Tomo. I think that sounds better. And thank you, Shade, for the gifted. I appreciate ya. 
A flash of crimson lights up Tomo's face and she looks ready to lash out at me. A group of co-workers, juniors like us, look over to us in concern. Ah, oh, thank you, Zephy, for becoming a member again. Appreciate you. Hope you've been doing well, by the way. Tomo takes a step back from me, but not before signaling a rude gesture. <laughs> but not before flicking me off. We ain't done here, Noriko. Watch your back. I'm trembling. Mm -hmm. Tomo walks away and I breathe a sigh of relief. If it wasn't for having to deal with her, I wouldn't dread coming to work every day. It is so crazy that Erica did uh, Kaede's voice and also Noriko's voice. It's like you can kind of hear it, but she's so good at, um, so good at, like, I don't know, she has such a good range, I feel like. Even if it's kind of like the same tone, just making it sound different for, like, a different type of character. Because, like, I can't imagine Kaede with, you know, Noriko's personality at all. Anyways, I wonder when she's planning to, to te test out Corpse Girl's website. Will she try it on me since we just fought? Is that why you're egging her on, girl? I'm not really sure if I should be ex <laughs> if I should be excited or scared. Either way, it will definitely be fun to find out what happens if she does try the website. Oh yeah, she does so good as Venti too. That's so true. Man, <sighs> the urge to pick up Genshin again, but also I'm scared it's gonna take over my life again, so I'm like don't want to pick it up. It's like an internal battle in my brain right now, especially since Albedo is the up for like rolling right now. I finally reach my desk and take note of the time. I was supposed to start working five minutes ago, so I quickly log into my computer and check today's task list. list. It's all standard stuff today. I need to transfer a few tables of numbers from a spreadsheet onto our company's online database. When I'm done, I have to run it by a few other people and then commit the change to the server. The work is dull and repetitive, but my salary isn't bad. On the plus side, I get to wear headphones and listen to music while I work. That's always a good sign. I dip my handbag and retrieve my headphones. My phone, a can of milk coffee, and a handful of breath mints. I lay them all on my desk neatly. I slip my headphones on, plug them into my phone, and hit play on my work playlist. Loud, symphonic... <laughs> yeah, it's like... I feel like she listens to metal. Dare die, death, death. Fuck, I wanna kill Tomo. Oh my god, this is my favorite song. Loud, symphonic metal loving thrashes my ears as I crack open a can of coffee and coffee and take a long sip. Okay, let's get started. Oh, thank you, big chunk of costume Bridget. Oh yeah, I'm so shipping them together. I hope neither dies too early. They're giving me Veronica and Heather vibes. Oh man, all the Heather's references this uh, this stream so far. It does fit though. I can see it. I'll uh, I'll probably wait a little bit. But, uh, they, I could see them being cute together, potentially. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they'll live a while. They do seem very entertaining so far, at least. Oh, I'm playing Genshin while watching the stream. Nice. <laughs> Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Oh my god, I almost forgot about that song. That song is low key bop. High key bop, honestly. I return home to my quiet, cramped apartment after work. Kind of looks like that other girl's apartment. I feel like the other girl's apartment was nicer, even though she said it was in a bad area. The place is eerily- she did say it was like the nicest apartment in her bad building or something. The place is eerily silent, a stark contrast to the bustling office where I spend my days. Throwing my hands onto the tiny coffee table, I pick up my laptop and sit on the couch. I lie back and get comfortable, letting the laptop rest in my stomach as it boots up. The welcome screen loads up, so I click a couple of times, open my web browser, and then head to a very- girl, I cannot- I cannot handle it if you do that train shit again. A very specific website saved my favorites. Okay. Oh, Corpse Girl's website. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought she was gonna go on Facebook and get into <laughs> her weird her weird scrolling thing. A cute dancing zombie girl is animated at the top of the page. A peculiar irregularity that always makes me giggle. I noticed that the page view counter at the bottom of the site is nearly the same as it was yesterday. There have been maybe four or five new visitors. Okay, the page view counter? Interesting. I heave a sigh. Maybe the website isn't quite that well known after all. Oh, I wish people would slay more. That begs the question, how did Tomo discover it? Well, never mind that. My eyes scan the website's content. Request to death. Big, bold letters headline the site. The intention couldn't be clearer. Further information on the site is sparse. Brief instructions tell the user to fill in a victim's phone number and upload a photo. Aside from that, there's not much else to mention. It doesn't even ask for a name. After scanning the site, I move my mouse to the browser's address bar and click. I type a forward slash after the website's address and then add the word admin. I hit the enter key. Okay. Wait. Hey, what? Do you, do you own this website? 
After seeing this, I move my mouse to the router's address and click. I tap forward slash the website's address and then word ad admin. I, I, do you, are you corpse girl? <laughs> kind of seems like it. My finger is tap dance around the keyboard, and within moments, I'm presented with a brand new page. Or maybe she's just a hacker woman. A blinking slab of text greets me. One new request. Uh, it is her website, isn't it? <laughs> Crooked smile cracks my stony expression. Finally, somebody has requested a death! <laughs> yes, it's finally time to slay! Somebody's asked. Oh, it is! She is! Oh my gosh, she is the corpse girl! Someone's asked me, corpse girl, to kill a victim. Okay, maybe she's not gonna die. How do you do all this freaky shit, girl? Like the. sending that other girl's corpse to herself, you know? This is where things get exciting. I giggle and feel my cheeks flush red. This is the first request I've had for about a week. I've been logging in every evening. Fingers crossed that somebody's elected a new victim for me. It's like to Tomo and she elected her. Today my wish has come true. I can't help but feel emotional at a time like this. My lower lip trembles and I feel tears welling up. I dab the corner of my eyes gently to avoid smudging my makeup. As I hover my mouse over, the view request button, a familiar and pleasant tingling sensation surges in my chest, my stomach, my thighs. This girl, I shiver with this girl, dude. Oh, man. That's the twist. We get to play as the antagonist, pretty much. Yeah, that's. I knew she seemed kind of wild, you know, based off of the preview shots on the Steam, but I didn't expect her to be a corpse girl herself. I love, uh, I love stuff like this when you're playing as, like, the... The antagonist almost, you know what I mean? When the antagonist is the protagonist. Oh, it's awesome. I shiver with anticipation. My hot and steamy breath begin to fog up on the laptop screen. I want to see how she does this. I click the button. Request details. Today, 2.47 p.m. local time. Victim's phone. Now loaning image attachment. Oh. A very generic looking woman. <laughs> the victim's photo automatically loads on my screen. The person in front of me is a total stranger, but that's okay. It doesn't change the task set out before me. A woman, rather plain in her early 30s. She's well-dressed with minimal makeup, but she's not really putting her personality on display. It's like, oh, uh, it's like, what's like a generic name? I wanted to say Mary Sue, but that's not, that's more like a perfect girl. Thank you, Regret. What the fuck, we're, uh, are you mean to say uh, Yandere maybe? <laughs> <laughs> but kind of, I don't know. I, I definitely think we're a psycho. <laughs> definitely seems like it. Thank you for the dono, by the way. It's a nice photo, better quality than some of the images I've received in the past. In fact, the photo looks like a corporate ID picture. I wonder if it was downloaded from a company database or website. Well, the source of this photo doesn't matter. The simple fact of the matter is that somebody's made a request for this person to die. Mary Smith. That's that's a good one. Not Mary Smith. Not the best girl. Ugh, I'm gonna miss you, queen. It's so sad. Why do the good always die young? It fails me to fulfill that request. And as corpse girl, I take requests very, very seriously. Who's gonna make a Mary Smith stan account in the chat, guys? We need, we need that. Oh, Jane Doe, too. That's another. That's another good one. I have the victim's photo. I have her phone number. All I need now is to select a way for her to meet her untimely demise. Where's Ryuk? I previously thought about including an extra field on my website, an option for the user to choose the way they want their victim to die. After all, it would reduce the amount of strain on my creativity if the method was decided for me. But after careful consideration, I decided against it. Some people are sick, twisted, could not be me. Could not be me, I'm totally sane. The cause of death could be far beyond my means, and impossible to achieve. Therefore, allowing the user to find the cause of death just isn't feasible. Instead, I'll stick to my current modus operandi. Everything depends on the quality of the victim's photo. If it's detailed and the victim's features are easily distinguishable, then I can ra be rather creative with the cause of death. Perhaps the victim's face suffers. Her Ooh. Like, people are, there's some sick, twisted psychos out there. Also, should I burn her face? Perhaps the victim's face suffers grotesque burns, or she has an iron stick thrust. What? Oh my god, this girl is so crazy. However, if the victim's photo is low quality and doesn't provide enough detail to identify the subject, I have to resort to the default cause of death, a heart attack. Ter okay, a terrible, 
unlucky fall from a great height. Okay, so that's what uh, Emmy got. Maybe she slips or maybe someone stumbles into her and sends her tumbling over a rail. The end result will be the same, a swift crushing death from high. The victim will end up face down in the concrete, completely unrecognizable. Save for her clothes and accessories. What are, you, what are you gonna do to poor Mary Smith? I can't, I can't. What are you gonna do to the best girl, Mary? It's not my favorite cause of death, but in some cases it is necessary. Regardless, it is still a valid way to fulfill the request. And they're so sick. Not like me, pleading face. Not like a little old me. I would never. For now, it's time to get started. I can barely contain my excitement. I squirm against the couch, crossing and uncrossing my legs in a vain attempt to dis dissipate the heart rising, the heat rising through my butt. This girl, girl, just go on a date. Like, can you just go on Tinder or something? Why do you have to do this Facebook scrolling shit and this corpse girl shit? Just go on Tinder. <laughs> Taking a deep breath, I try to calm my nerves down and get to work. The victim will receive a photo of her own corpse. Timestamp with the date of her death. What did Mary Smith ever do? It's corpse girl's signature move. My calling card, <laughs> if you will. Oh, that's kind of funny, calling card. It makes me think of uh, Persona. Which Erica voiced Anne. Seeing an image of one's own disfigured corpse is sure to strike fear into someone's heart. And that's precisely the reason I take the step to make the victim panic and act rashly. Oh, you know, I forgot about Hell Girl. That I think that anime did kind of have a similar um whatchamacallit, um kind of plot. Something like that. It seemed pretty interesting. I never got around to watching it though. I should watch that. First things first. I save the victim's photo to my laptop hard drive. I store it in a folder discreetly named System Files, hidden away in the root directory of my operating system. A password encrypted directory, of course. Next, I open up my favorite image editing software and load the photo. What was that? I think it was Backdoor Smut. That was the one. <laughs> that was the Urchin to Die one. That's a much better name for a secret folder. Come on, girl. Step up your game. Looking carefully at the detail in the picture, I can see that this will be a work of art. I can really go to town with this poor, poor fucking Mary Smith. I minimize the software, open my web browser, and access a particular website. Okay. Database of the deceased, the DD, as it's known on the dark web. Okay, the dark web, that's what it was. I really thought she had like a Shinigami or something, not like helping her do this, to be totally honest. Just cause like it seems so paranormal too, you know, like uh, how that other girl died. The database of the deceased, the DD, as it's known on the dark web, my secret weapon, the ultimate resource for my work. The DD is a collection of countless high resolution photographs of dead bodies. Murder victims, crime scenes, suicides. If someone has died in one way or another, the chances are good that someone, some perverted individual has captured the moment in all its gory glory. Such valuable images are essential to my work. Using these photos as a base, I can edit my victim's details from the picture. Oh, this really has helped me step up my Photoshop game. My process is simple. I start by locating the perfect corpse photo. I search the database in less than two minutes. I discover a disgustingly detailed photo of a woman. <laughs> With her entrails spilling from her stomach. Jesus, girl. Her face is blue, having suffocated before even having a chance to bleed to death. She's about the same age as my victim. She's of a similar height and build. Finding a photo that specifically suits my victim's feature is easy thanks to DD's ex excellent category of tags and filters. I simply search for the keywords that match my victim's description and find the corpse that fits. <laughs> Everybody has a hobby, I guess. Yeah, don't judge, guys. It's not nice to judge Lil Noriko. She just has her own hobbies, her own interests. Yeah, and I was like, Jesus, that photo is so descriptive. Poor fucking Mary, dude. She's just eating like, she's eating just like a cheese quesadilla in her home right now, watching Love is Blind. She has no fucking clue what's about to happen to her. Using the photo as a starting point, I digitally edit my victim's face onto the body. It's not some quick job that even a child can do. It's a painstakingly crafted work of art that would fool even the keenest of eyes. An hour passes, then two, then three. Before I know it, midnight has come and gone. 
but the work. Oh my god, the tags and filters. Oh my god! Why do they look like AO3? You're so right. Oh my god. On the freaking dark web. You know, the dark web, they just respect AO3 so much. That's why they had to copy their tag system. <laughs> do you want entrails sticking out? We got a tag for that. Oh my god. I like to add specific distinguishable details to the image. A personal item or accessory. Clothes, makeup, you name it. I can edit it in. With personal details added, I adjust the lighting and color palette just slightly enough to make the photo truly unique. If the victim decides to reverse image search the photo and discovers that it's a forgery, all my work would be for naught. Okay, so she does just Photoshop this and send it to them, and then I guess she does it later? But how did that other girl see, like, a dead body of herself? Maybe Noriko's really good with, like, makeup, too, or something? She's able to dress the body to make it look like, uh herself. Oh, maybe she's like a cosplayer actually. What if uh, the girl that Emmy saw was just an Oriko, but like in makeup? You know what I mean? And without the masterpiece is complete. A grisly, gruesome, gratuitously gory gift to the soon to be departed. The victim will see this photo of a corpse. That is, for all intents and purposes, a perfect replica of her own physical form. She will open the image on her phone and the life she once knew will crumble into pieces. My life's curl into a satisfied smirk. During my hours of work, my breathing eventually steadied. My excited nerves settled into a zen-like calm. But seeing the finished art piece now, I begin to feel my heart pounding once more. The macabre vision before me is exhilarating. Adrenaline and dopamine surge throughout my body, giving me a sudden head rush. Head rush of bliss. It'd be kind of hard for her to do her makeup for the, you know, the photos that are blurry, though, like she mentioned before. To say that I'm attracted to the sight of blood and guts would be misleading. But no, I'm not into that at all. The excitement stems, stems from the thought of taking control of somebody else's life. Dictating their future. Controlling their fate. I do feel like control is kind of like a big thing with, uh, I don't know, like murderers, you know? It's like the idea of like control. Like, yeah, controlling somebody's life, like how it ends and stuff. I feel like that's kind of one of the main, uh, I don't know, I guess like... One of the main reasons, like, murderers, I, like, the appeal for them or whatever. For the creation of this image, I have taken the vic- I have taken the victim's life into my own hands, like a puppet master pulling the strings of a marionette. By forging the convincing creation, I will compel the victim to take her own life. That's right, my own hands not be tainted. The hands of Corpse Squirrel have never been dirtied with the blood of a victim, so I'm innocent! This is the true nature of my work. Carefully crafting corpse photos in such a way to convince the victim that their fate is already sealed. That no matter what they do, they cannot escape the death that awaits them. So it just drives them insane. And the date stamped on the photo is the icing on the cake. The ultimate driving force behind the victim choosing to end their own life. A date so near in the future. A time that has not yet occurred. A fiber of uncertainty carefully interwoven into the image that causes the victim to pause and consider the possibilities. <laughs> it's like touching grass. <laughs> she made that other girl touch. No, Jeff, no, Jesus. Too soon, too soon. She did make her touch grass though, I guess. <laughs> it just has a different meaning when Noriko, Noriko says it. Is this photo from the future? Is this truly my fate? How can I outrun a future that has been predecided? These are the thoughts that run through a victim's mind. Despair and dread flood the senses. Overwhelming anxiety give way to, gives way to calm acceptance. This is my dead body. This is how I die. The other girl was like totally convinced. Why should I fight it? I know this is what the other girl did too. She was like, oh, well, I guess I'm dead. So why not just go touch some grass as Jeff put it in the chat. When the victim's last vestige of resistance gently breaks like a silk spider web being torn by a cool breeze, they finally give in. They invite their end. This is the way it will go down for this woman, this complete and total stranger. I'm confident, certain, convinced. You know, it was like, uh, that's the only thing is like, I guess she could just look at like the death reports to see uh, if it actually happened. Or, um, I'm trying to think, there's probably some way she could tell, you know? like obituaries or something. And a sudden spark of inspiration that guided me to begin. It was a sudden spark of inspiration that guided me to begin fabricating corpse photos about a year ago. This is a really, this is a really strange, <laughs> really strange hobby you got here, girl. I can never quite recall exactly what it was that spawned the idea. 
Sometimes I get to I get close to remembering, but the recollection dances at the edge of my mind and slips back into darkness. Regardless, I ventured down a dark and dangerous path. I built Corpse Girl's website and invited strangers to request the deaths of people they knew. It was a sales tactic, simply a way to encourage users to submit images. I had no intention or means of ending lives. But little did I know the true power I wielded. You know? She kind of is just gaslighting them, isn't she? She really is a true a true girl boss. She just sends them a picture of their death. And they're like, holy shit, I really am dead. Might as well die. It's like, it's like, correct me if I'm wrong, but now that I'm thinking about it, ultimate, ultimate girl boss, Narika. When are we going to get this girl in a Danganronpa game? I thought Rei was the ultimate girl boss, but no, no, it's, it was Nariko the whole time. I only intended to create corpse photos and send them to people for fun. <laughs> for fun. You know, it's just super it's just a super fun time. I want to startle and scare some unsuspecting fools. It would be a lie to claim that I didn't get off on it. Now when she gets caught by the police. It was just a prank, bro. <laughs> I thought of the people shrieking in fear at the sight of their own corpse. That was that was more than delicious. It sated my budding lust. It filled a dark hole in the depths of my soul and gave me purpose. Never in a million years did I dream of dream that one of my corpse photos would result in the death of another human being. Oh, hey. She kind of looks like uh, the girl from Kakigari 2, the girl with the pigtails. I forgot her name. I'll never forget her name. Ruri Hatano. 20-something, slim, gorgeous. Eyes that took my breath away the moment I gazed upon her portrait. Too bad she's dead. She was the first person to make me feel bad about crafting hoax pictures. <laughs> The only, the only person to make me feel bad about it. All, all my other victims were ugly, but she, she was so pretty. Too soon. I don't really give a shit about killing Mary Smith, you know, because she's boring. Oh, thank you, big chunk of costume Bridget. You said you couldn't tell what my profile picture was earlier. It's Bridget dressed as the scariest thing ever. A Twitter post about herself. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm dead. I gotta look up, I guess, all the Twitter posts about that. Because I remember you talking about it a little bit in, um, uh... What should we call it? Uh, one of the other streams, but it was like a, I guess like they announced that her character was trans or something along those lines. But we we stand Bridget here. I don't totally know the lore, but I still stand her. <laughs> Thank you for the dono though. I forged a beautiful rendition of her death, thanks to some rather macabre source photos obtained via the database of the deceased. A strung Ruri's corpse up in a field, like a ghoulish scarecrow. The photo was incredible. It was my fifth or sixth work. The fifth or sixth time a user of Corpse Girl's website requested a death. I wonder the reason why these people request deaths. I guess she just like doesn't care because she's, you know. <laughs> she, I don't know. She just loves murder or she loves, you know, people. Um, I don't know. I was like, she's not really murdering them, I guess. She's just kind of causing them to kill themselves. So I'm like, she just enjoys doing this, I guess, regardless of the reasons. But uh, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Maybe she did kind of find out about this girl's trauma dump, and that's why uh, she she feels bad about it. Marie Hatano died just a few hours after receiving the photo. I don't know why. I don't know if she killed herself or if, or if someone murdered her. But I know one thing. Ooh! Oh my god! That's a, that's a very detailed and specific way to kill somebody. Rigatano's body, her real body, was found in a field hanging like a scarecrow, surrounded by crows. Her eyes had been gouged out of her skull, and her stiff fingers clutched her phone tightly. According to the news report, her phone displayed a familiar image, the very image I created of her corpse. It's like these are just so specific. It's like, how do they end up being the exact thing that she described, too? You know what I mean? Like, I kind of understand that they were all just like the falling out of the building thing. Like, oh, she just scares them enough to where they're like, oh my god, I must be dead. I guess, I guess I'll die then kind of thing. But this stuff, it makes me think there's maybe somebody... Oh, wait. I was going to say somebody obsessed with Noriko that's like helping her, like, I don't know, carry out these murders. Would it be um, Shinya? Because he's got like a thing for Noriko. You can never, you can never trust the male wives, man. You can never try. He's got that innocent face, but I don't, I don't trust, I don't trust you, Shinya. But it's just a thought, because yeah, this is just so, this is so detailed, you know what I mean? When I first learned of Ruby's death, I was overcome with varying emotions. I felt sick, elated, disgusted, overjoyed, depressed. <laughs> oh my god, you got some, <laughs> got some very interesting hobbies, girls. Aroused. 
Had I somehow caused her death, was Corpse Girl responsible for taking a life? But even though my hands... Oh, you guys noticed that word before before I before I got to it too, I see it in the chat. Even though my hands weren't stained with blood, I still felt responsible. As, as you should, honestly. A lurid truth descended upon me at the moment. Corpse Girl had the power to end lives. And the more I dwelled on that fact, the more obvious it became to me. I began to feel that power pulsing through my veins, thrumming in my blood as my heart pumped and pounded within my chest. I can't explain how the power works, and I don't know why I have it. But somehow, the corpse photos I create can't compel a victim to end their own life, or compel someone else to end it for them. Yeah, definitely the other way. I do not, I do not trust little Shinya. I, I don't know, I, I'm starting to, I'm starting to suss him. Ruri died the way I envisioned. Her dead body matched the fake corpse photo I painstakingly crafted. And I didn't even have to leave the safety and comfort of my apartment to ensure her death. Corpse Girl's power is real. Extraordinary. And I vowed to exercise that power as frequently as possible. Hey, we might not be playing as the Yandere, Yandere then. Maybe it's Shinya who's the, who's the Yandere. Somebody is. Somebody is helping this girl slay. Marie Hitano died last night. Since then, I've been chasing that rush. That th oh, last year. That thrill that comes with snuffing out a soul. It wasn't hard to grow the popularity of Corpse Girl's website after that incident. Particularly dark corners of the internet gobbled up the news with enthusiasm, and the site saw an influx of new visitors. And on a few occasions, I even overheard people in the real world whispering about the mysterious website that lets you request a death. I kind of like, because uh, it seems like um, her sister was the one who worked at the store that uh, Emmy requested to die. I kind of wonder... I guess we'll see how close she is with her sister, but I wonder if she just killed Emmy because Emmy requested for her sister to die. Like, she was like, no, you're not, you're not supposed to do that. You're not allowed to do that, girl. You can't request people that I like. But at the same time, I'm like, would she like her sister? Her sister did seem kind of like evil and stuff. I've crafted corpse photos for dozens of requests. Each photo is more convincing and realistic than the last, thanks to my ever-evolving skills. But none of my recent attempts have been successful. Not a single person, uh oh, has dropped dead since Rui Itano. Uh oh, I'm beginning to wonder if Corpse Girl's power has fizzled out. Okay, interesting. So it's just her? That was a year ago. Each photo is more convinced realistic than the last. They've ever always killed, but none of my recent attempts have been successful. Well, then why are she was so convinced that Mary Smith was gonna die? Ah, oh, thank God, our girl Mary Smith, she's gonna live another day. She can see the season finale of Love is Blind. Oh, I love that for her. Good for her, dude. I'm beginning to wonder if Corpse Girl's power has fizzled out. Or perhaps I never had any power to begin with. Or maybe Ruby's death was simply a fluke or morbid coincidence. I spent countless hours doubting myself. Doubting Corpse Girl, I've tried so hard to replicate that one success. Every time I receive a death, I photoshop even harder than the last time, but none of them die. This is so sad. This is Noriko's trauma dump. I just feel so bad for her. Like, guys, she works so hard on her photoshops. When she, like, photoshops, like, entrails coming out of Mary Smith, but it's like... And then, like, Mary won't even die, you know? Like, that's so rude of her. Like, why won't she just die for her? God, I'm literally crying right now. It's just, it's just, it's so, it's too tragic. Every time I receive a request, I do the same thing as I did in Rui Tano's case. I edit the photo of the victim. I create a convincing corpse photo and I timestamp it with a time of death. I send the photo to the victim and then I leave the rest up to fate. <laughs> but nothing ever comes from it. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, thank you, Lolo. Oh, I'm sad I missed the stream, but I'll definitely catch up once the video is up. This game's pr premise is so interesting. I hope you're enjoying it, Weeby. Oh, thank you so much for stopping by, Lolo. I hope you're doing well. And yeah, I've really, I've really been enjoying it so far. And yeah, same here. I really like the premise of this game. That was really what got me. Uh, that as well as the art was what really got me super into it. But I've been enjoying it. I hope you enjoy the vods whenever you check it out. <laughs> but nothing ever comes of it. This is so sad. I'm not so, I'm not so Delulu to think that in normal circumstances, a simple photo would be enough to convince someone to kill themselves. But like, it's just kind of rude for them not to. And even if that photo fell into someone else's hands, it wouldn't inspire them to go out and kill the victim. Of course not. However, there are no ordinary circumstances. I once activated a power beyond the kin of mortal men. I caused Ruri Hitano to die by her own hand. Or by the hand of another. I need to find a way to manifest my power once more. To prove that I, 
corpse girl have the power to, of death and destruction at my fingertips. I mean, girl, I think you just gotta go out there and slay yourself. You can't expect somebody to always be slaying for you. Like, go out there and work. Come on. <laughs> what is that Kim Kardashian line? Get your ass up and work. That's that's my advice to you, Nariko. You just gotta get your ass up and work. You know, you just always expect somebody to slay on your behalf. Ah, oh, Bree, thanks for coming to the uh, thanks for coming to the stream. Once a new victim perishes, a note will pave the way more and more to more and more deaths. My website will gain popularity and become more than just an urban myth. People will live their lives in fear, forever wondering if Corpse Girl is lurking behind the next text message they receive. Yes, I can see the future I crave so clearly in my mind. I'm close to achieving my goal. I know I am. She is such a Kira wannabe. <laughs> she, she wants to be Kira so bad. And when my dream comes true, I can finally... Could finally do that. Okay, May 26th. I oh, thank you, Crocomancer. Sniffle. Saddest trauma dump since Mikado. What do you mean? Saddest trauma dump since <laughs> since little Mitchie. No, I'm just kidding. God, people are gonna crop that. Be like, she does love Mitch. <laughs> but uh, thank you for the dono. Appreciate you. Yeah, literally same. Fucking Mikado, dude. Thank you, big chunk of costume Bridget. Will Shinya be the Jason to her Veronica? More. Oh, dude. That's what I'm predicting, honestly. I do not trust Shinya at all. He's totally Jason. <laughs> The incessant chirping of birds gently kindles the embers of my conscience. Thanks for the dono, by the way. My heavy eyelids open to find my body contorted before me. Legs played, legs splayed across the couch in the most uncomfortable position I can imagine. I groan and twist my torso, letting my spine pop and crack until the aches in my body drift away. I needed to stop falling asleep on the couch. I'm still young, but I can't handle a night away from my comfortable bed. My eyes fall upon my open laptop, lying on its side on the floor. The screen is blank, the battery drained. I briefly panic, hoping against hope that I save my work before falling asleep. Oh, did she did she send it yet? I can't remember if she said she sent it yet. I thought she might have. I stumped on my feet and picked up the laptop, then then charged towards the power outlet. I plug in and boot up, revitalizing the mechanical beast and feeling a wave of relief as the whirring of the internal fans signify the breath of life. The screen flickers and bathes my eyes in harsh lights. My eyes squint against against my will and I make out the image before me. Oh, thank you, Regret. Light Yagami did nothing wrong. Oh my god. That is so true, bestie. I feel you on that. He was like my original, like, I can fix him. I feel like, honestly. He was like the character that got me into like uh, these types of characters, to be totally honest. Oh man. I like how your name is Regret, too. <laughs> You're not gonna regret saying that though, bestie. Believe me, trust me. The mutilated corpse of my latest victim, perfection in picture, form. The timestamp in the lower corner reads May 27th, 11 a.m., tomorrow's date. The photo is ready to be sent out. If I send it now, the victim will receive it immediately. Notice the date and realize her death is imminent. It's time to set the wheels of demise in motion. I like how, like, I like how, um, <laughs> she's still so optimistic about it. It hasn't happened for a year, but she still, she believes. She said she wasn't a Lulu, but I am not believing her. Leaving my laptop at the outlet, I quickly dart into the kitchen. Welcome to call it a kitchen. Well, to call it a kitchen is misleading. It's simply a tiled area connected to my living space with a small refrigerator, microwave open, and single hot plate. The first ever I can fix some character for Weeby. That's a lot on your hands, girl. <laughs> guys, guys, I can do it. Believe me, believe me. How long has Death Note been out? Like, God, 15 years or something? It's taken a while, but I can still do it. I still believe in myself. I can still fix him. Plunging my hand inside is always an odd sensation. My fingers get buried underneath a dozen cheap plastic flip phones. I grasp one of the phones between my thumb and forefinger and remove it from the drawer. Man, she's really committed to this bit. It's a scratched up pink model from 2010 or so. A relic from a time not, at all, not all that long ago, but that may as well be forgotten. I flip the screen up and turn the device on, rel relieved to see this artifact still holds power. To be fair, I charged up all these phones just a few weeks ago, but the fact they retain a charge after being inactive for so long is a testament to their engineering. In any shady line of work, these kinds of phones are referred to as burners, cheap disposable devices that are discarded as soon as their purpose is fulfilled. If <laughs> we know what you are. <laughs> oh my god, you guys calling me out in the chat. I acquire them by rather unsavory means, but that's... 
That's neither here nor there. We're not going to go into details about that. I use these phones to send out photos I make. By doing this, I avoid using my personal phone and thus prevent anything from being traced back to me. When a photo has been sent, I keep the burner phone for 24 hours just in case the victim sends a reply. I know I'd get a good laugh out of that. Yeah, I was kind of wondering what kind of reply she gets. It'd be kind of funny if she had a conversation with them. Of course, I don't keep the phone on my person. I store it in an old shed out the back of my apartment building. It's like they're like, oh, what is this? Who are you? It's like, dude, I don't know what to say. I'm just like, you're going to die or something. Okay, get over it. When the 24 hours have passed, I remove the phone's SIM card, snap it in half, and discard it with the combustible trash. Oh, Jesus. The phone itself gets smashed and trash the dumpsters outside a convenience store. Was that a... I'm trying to see. Okay, I think that was uh, the previous dono. Just want to double check. It's like, did I miss that? Sometimes, sometimes YouTube's slow. I also leave the photos off my hard drive and clear my internet history. Obviously, I don't even use my own internet connection at home. I leech off my gullible neighbor's Wi-Fi. Dude, poor neighbor. He's under the impression I can't afford my own internet connection. Whether or not I convinced him, convinced him of such is relevant. So he's happy to share his connection with me. Did you like flirt with him or something, maybe? Should the police ever try to track my actions, only be led straight to my neighbor. I've gone to create links to ensure my actions are untraceable. This has all been anticipation of my inevitable, inevitable success one day. <laughs> one day I'll be Kira. Looking down at the pink, the pink phone in my hand, I clear my mind and focus on the task before me. That's cute. Oh my god, that's so adorable. The murder phone's pink. You know, you gotta always be stylish, even when you're slaying. The photo is transferred easily from my laptop to the burner phone. Once complete, I open the text messaging app and enter the victim's phone number. I leave the message field blank and I attach the photo of the- of course. The victim will receive an empty text message from an unknown number with an image attached. This message is just about ready to send, but there's one more flourish I'd like to add. I open a particular app I previously downloaded to every burner phone. It's simply called Number Mask, and it's one of the most ingenious apps I've ever used. The app asks for a number I want to use. I punch in my memorized trademark. Okay, the devil number. Oh, thank you, big chunk of costume Bridget. Someone call near to stop this light wannabe. <laughs> for real, for real. Well, she hasn't been succeeding too much. I guess she's probably about to start succeeding though. I'm guessing that's why I picked it up from here, but we'll, we'll see. But thank you for the dono, appreciate you. Not only does it make the burner's real phone number, masks the burner's real phone number, but it makes an extra calling card. Hey, <laughs> calling card, another persona reference. Tell boost my infamy. I smirk, my thumb hovering over the sin message button. This is it. This is going to be a long-awaited victory. The second vi <laughs> girl, girl, you're a son of Lulu. To victim to end up dead. I just know it. Well, maybe, maybe it will be. You know, like I said, we're starting the game from here, so maybe she is gonna finally start having success. If she dies, I'm, I'm saying it's Shinya. This is a stepping stone to my success. The second of many bodies that will pave way to my glory. I send the message. Oh, considering the requests weren't fulfilled, how has the website not been added as fake? Yeah, I think like, uh, I was trying to think, uh, remember them saying uh, at the beginning, I guess it was like Emmy was talking about how like, uh, I guess, um, I guess maybe nobody wants to admit to sending a request. Like, hey, I requested that Tomo dies and like nothing even happened. This is so sad, <laughs> like request in the forum. I guess like an anonymous person can post and say like, hey, this website's bullshit. But then it's just kind of like, if you want to believe them or not. I mean, um, I could see something like this just being kind of like an urban legend and people wanting to get out their anger by typing in the uh, photo and the name and all that. You know what I mean? I arrive at work on time as usual. My hand back is heavy with the weight of several cans of coffee, hopefully enough to help me power through the day after having such a late night. I can't help but yawn loudly as I wait for the elevator in the lobby. Just before the elevator doors open, my phone starts to ring. I step aside and answer the call. Hey. Oh, oh she looks so pretty. Hi, Noriko. Oh. Good morning. Did I call at a bad time? I knew this girl was sus. I knew she was sus. Not at all. I'm just about to go into the office. Oh, should I call back later? Unless she was talking about Noriko being the one that she wanted to kill. But I guess I'm probably getting ahead of myself. It's no problem. Don't stress. Okay, um, sorry. The nervous apologetic girl on the other end of the call is Aoi Sato. An old school friend from back in the day. You guys trying to decide who Elle is? I was like, uh, Shinya is a, like, detective or something. But, uh, I feel like he's more Misa than Elle. <laughs> Honestly. 
<laughs> he gives me more Misa vibes. Though we never really had any common interests. We used to be inseparable at school. Maybe, yeah, uh, maybe um, Tomo, like some other people were saying. <clears throat> she was shy. I was introverted. It was a combination that worked in our favor, even if our conversations were a little on the boring side. To say that we're no longer shy and introverted wouldn't be entirely true. Aoi has gotten better. She's definitely more outgoing. But she still suffers from a great deal of social anxiety. As for me, I'm still pretty introverted. My tolerance for being around people has improved a bit, but I do prefer solitude. Visiting places I've never been to before puts me on edge. To call Aoi my best friend would be accurate. She's my closest confidant. I guess I could see Shinya maybe trying to, like, track down a corpse girl. Maybe... Maybe if she, like, finally accepts his friend request. You know, okay, maybe maybe he wasn't doing the murders. It was only one murder anyway, so I might... I'll probably scrap that theory. And instead, maybe, uh... Maybe, uh, Shinya will be, like, the L. So, especially since she was talking about how he, like, puts all his old detective... He has, like, a detective vlog and stuff where he's like, I'm going to track down so-and-so. Even so, she knows nothing about my part-time masquerading as Corpse Girl. No one does, and I plan to keep it that oh, way. Oh, Aoi. What did you want to talk about? Uh, oh, well... You see, that guy at work is oh. still bothering me, and I wanted to see if you had any more advice for me. <laughs> Write it on corpse, girl, girl. Ah, jeez. The older guy that always hits on you. Yeah. What a creep. Mm. You're 19, for God's sake. He must be, what, 50? Ew. I, I think he's 52. Ah, poor girl. You know his actual age. Jesus. Um... Well, whatever. If he's still bothering you, you have to take a stand. He's not your co-worker, right? Just a regular customer? Ah, oh, God. I feel like I can see some bosses being like, the customer is always right. Just deal with the creepy 50-year-old hitting on you. Then tell your manager. Have him banned from the venue. Hopefully the manager would take her aside, but I, I don't know. Some people are like, I don't know, man. Some managers do just suck. I, I can't talk to the manager. I don't want to cause trouble for the company. Jeez, girl. Sometimes you need to stand on your own two feet. I know. Well, if talking to the manager is out of the question, then you need to be firm with the creep. Tell him you won't stand for being groped anymore. His behavior is simply unacceptable. And if he won't change, you won't serve him anymore. Oh, Jesus. He's groping her? Ah, fuck. I thought he was just... Was he... I thought he was just... Yeah, was, she said it hits on you. I was like, ah, oh, is he actually groping her too? Ah! Noriko, I don't know if I can confront him like that. Oh god, we gotta put his name on the death website. He's always drunk. <sighs> Even before he comes into the place. I try not to serve him too much, but... I guess she works at like a bar or something. <sighs> Are you sure you can't quit that stupid job? Uh... Working at a maid cafe really doesn't suit you at all. I thought you wanted a government position. Damn. I was like, surely the manager would take her side if it's like groping. Like, I feel like getting hit on, they might not. But Jesus, that's so bad. I do. I want to work in a cozy office, kind of like you. But you know, I don't have any qualifications. Why don't I see if there's anything open here? Maybe Shinya can help out. He got me this job, remember? Oh, okay, Shinya got her the job. Shinya, maybe he was always a nice guy, right? He's super nice. A stick in the mud, <laughs> but a nice one. Noriko, don't be mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want me to ask? Yes, please. If it's no trouble. It's no trouble. I'll talk to Shinya. Then maybe you can quit that crappy job and come work with me. That'd be nice, man. I feel so bad for this girl, dude. Oh, that really does well. sound wonderful. Thank you, Noriko. I'd be so lost without you. Ugh, so gross, man. <laughs> Don't be silly. You're amazing, Aoi. Leave this to me. Thank you. Aww. I end the call and heave sigh. I'm having to go ask Shinya. About a job actually is a pain in the ass, but I never admit that to Aoi. I want to help. Oh, wait, did I get this? I was like, I felt like some lipstick. Sometimes it just gets on my chin for some reason. <laughs> I want to help the poor girl. I really do. I don't nearly... I don't- I do nearly anything for her. The elevator arrives at the lobby, and I step inside as soon as the doors open. Yeah, hopefully you can get her the job. Good morning, Kurosawa. Like, except- except my friend- my friend request on noise, please, and I'll get your friend the job. Ah, Fujikawa. Good morning. I could see it happen. 
Shinya takes me by surprise as I exit the elevator. Has he been waiting for me here? I wanted to catch you before we sit down to work. I, I sent you another friend <laughs> request. Can you make sure you got it this time? He's so cute, dude. Oh, Even though I don't yeah. trust him. Okay. <laughs> wow, it's not there. That's so weird. Try again tomorrow. <laughs> Loser. What am I supposed to do when he puts me on the spot like this? I try not to groan as I get my phone out and open the noise. Can't she just like uh, mute him or something, you know? Like accept the friend request and then like make sure she doesn't see his updates. It's impossible to hide my screen from Shinya's piercing gaze. Well, what do you know? I have a new friend request. Oh, great. It worked this time. Go ahead and accept it, please. I'll be watching right over your shoulder. Yeah, sh sure thing. <laughs> Wow, it's so weird. I just <laughs> dropped and broke my phone. Oh no, I can't accept it. I accidentally accept the request. A little fireworks animation pops up on the screen with a celebratory message about making a new friend. Hey. Looks like we're officially friends now. So, uh, can I call you Noriko from now on? Damn it, he's cute. I like obsess of him, but uh, I don't know. He is really cute. I'm kind of, I'm kind of simping a little bit. I never cared much for formalities. I tried to adhere to them in the workplace, but honestly, I don't care if people refer to me by my first or last name, regardless of whether they're friends or not. He's just, look at him! He's so adorable, man! That's fine. You can call me Noriko. He is sus, but also, he's being so sweet and, like, cute and, like, uh... I don't know, like... He's so oblivious to the fact that he's getting friend-zoned. Or not even, not even friend-zoned, dude. He's getting, like, block-zoned. Like, at least that's what she was trying to do for a while. Shinya's eyes light up. That seems to have made the boy happy. Thank you. No, uh, you can call me Shinya. Of oh course. my god, he's so happy. Shinya. <laughs> hey, we've known each other since junior high, right? Shouldn't we have been on a first name basis anyway? Been been avoiding his his friend request for years. Yes, that's true, but we're in the office now, you know? You wouldn't do if you started working here and called me Shinya right away. I suppose. People might people might think we're dating. Ooh, ooh. He's creepy. Everybody's saying that oh, Weeby, don't let him be another don't let this be another <laughs> I'm dead. Oh man. This is creep behavior to me though. It's not cool to force someone to accept your friend request. Yeah, that's true. I could see that. He has he was definitely a little overbearing. It's just the way they draw him to make him look cute. That's that's where it was tricking me. I'll have to I have to stay strong. You're right. You're right. Thank you, big chunk of costume, Bridget. Me after seeing Hariko and Aoi scene. Another good shit for me to add to my collection. I was thinking that too. I was like, it seems like uh, her and Aoi would be a lot uh, better. Not better. I guess it just depends on what you prefer, but more compatible as of right now. I guess if you want to do like an enemies lover thing, you could do her with... Um, Tomo. Thank you, Breathe the Cookie Monster. Don't trust him. This is Light Yagami in disguise. Oh my god, it's Light... Oh, my best boy who never did anything wrong his whole life. That just makes me trust him even more. He even looks like him. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> he's so cute. Thank you, Bree. I'm standing Shinya even more now. <laughs> even more. Anyway, I'm really glad we're proper friends now, Noriko. Maybe we can get a coffee sometime. I feel like, I think I do have a soft spot for like socially awkward characters for some reason. Like I loved, uh... Mishima from Persona 5. Ah, oh, you're so adorable. It kind of reminds me of him. He's so awkward. <laughs> He's so awkward and cute. I can't help but feel he's trying to push his luck as far as it will go. Any suspicions I had about him having a crush on me are now confirmed. I brush a stray lock of hair out of my face and smile as sweetly as I can while changing the subject. Hey, actually, I wanted to ask you something. Are there any more temp jobs available here right now? Temp jobs, huh? Are you looking to pick up extra hours? No, not exactly. I'm asking for a friend who needs a new job. A friend of Noriko's? <gasps> well, let's see... Oh, it's the same VA as Mishima? Really? Oh, that's... That's why... Oh, man. I fucking love Mishima, dude. He was... <laughs> He was such a little dweeb, but I loved him so much. He was so adorable. That's so cool, though. Wow, I didn't realize that. We pretty much always have data entry rules up for grabs. Unless your friend wants something more interesting? Do they have any particular qualifications? Um, she's cute. She works at a maid cafe. Not really. Data entry is more than fine. Actually, you already know who I'm talking about. Remember Aoi Sato? Aoi Sato. Yes, I think I do remember her. 
that really shy girl from our school days, correct? Yeah, I was like, uh, thinking about that. I was like, they must have gone to school together too. That's her. Yeah. Oh, pewter as well. Nice. Dang, they got a they got a wide uh, work. Wow. I never knew you were still in touch with school friends, Noriko. <laughs> oh my god, we got a Noriko cult leader in chat. I just noticed that. Oh, he's probably the only one. We're fairly close. Is that so? As for me, I don't really have any friends from back then. <laughs> or or any friends at all. Oh wow, Deluke too? Really? Wow. Shinya's heartbreaking confession doesn't surprise me too much. He doesn't strike me as the type of person to have many friends at all. Sure, I'm the same, but you know, at least I'm a girl boss. <laughs> but what am I saying? <laughs> We're friends now. So I guess I do keep in touch with school friends. Oh, gosh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess so. We're gonna have the Shinya cult. <laughs> I see I see some people talking about it already. I'll, I'll join. Superior if we can get Sato an interview. Is that okay? I'd really appreciate that. Thank you, Shinya. See, guys, he's a nice guy. He's done nothing wrong. No problem. Leave it to me. I, you know, I changed my mind from sussing him. He's he's a good boy. He gives me an awkward salute before skipping away. Our little exchange has obviously made him pretty happy. For some reason, something that Timo... Timo... I keep calling her Timo... <laughs> Tomo Watanabe said yesterday pops into my head. She mentioned that I'm leading Shinya on, but that's... But that's not true, is it? I don't know. It's kind of... That is the hard thing. If you don't like a guy like that, it's like... I feel like I saw somebody in chat saying you have to like... Uh, kind of like walk on eggshells so you don't want to hurt their feelings. It is super awkward because it's like she's not really doing anything necessarily to lead him on, but he's obviously like... He's looking... He's reading way too much into it, you know what I mean? I shake the thought out of my head. I'm just being nice to him. What? That's not wrong, is it? Yeah, he literally just like skipped. I just like imagine him like skipping, like, frolicking away like that. Oh my god, we're Facebook friends now. Oh my god, I shake the thought out of my head. I'm just being nice to him. That's not wrong, is it? Ooh, what if he was a yandere? <laughs> just get, just you know, come in. Uh, just you brainstorming. I take a seat at my desk and perform my morning ritual from my handbag. Retrieve my headphones, coffee, and breath mints. Just cause like they'd have known each other for a long time. I was like, man, how long has he held this crush on and been like, quote unquote, led on by her? Cause like I said, I don't think she's doing anything to lead him on, but I think he's reading into her actions very much. Computer on, music playing, coffee open. My finger taps rhythmically against the keyboard and I slip into the usual workday trance. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Listen to my normal oh, calming. That you're connected with Shinya on noise now, huh? <laughs> Listen to my normal calming metal music. My walk to the train station is interrupted by a familiar grating voice. Sounds like both of you are getting on pretty well. <laughs> pretty well. Uh, how did you? Oh, of course. To, to, to <laughs> keep playing a caller to moon. Tomo and I are already. Friends on noise. She would have seen the notification when I accepted Shinya's request. Busy body. It's actually kind of strange that Tomo and I are connected through the app. We added each other on my first day of work before I learned how much of an intolerable excuse of a human being she is. We simply never deleted each other, even after all these months. Her posts are entertaining anyways. And since I rarely ever post anything myself, she probably forgot we were connected at all. Until today. Now look, don't get me wrong, you hear? I ain't actually interested in Shinya. Nah, I'm real happy for you both, like. Girl, I just accepted his friend request on, like, Facebook. Is it not that serious? Is that, like, God, it's like a marriage proposal in this game. Freaking, freaking Shinya's, like, skipping, like, pl picking flower petals after I accept his friend request. And Tomo is like, wow, I can't believe you guys literally just got married. I am so happy for you. Can I be your flower girl? Like yourself getting some while I'm over here all dry like a desert. What the hell are you talking about? It pisses me off that guys just sluts like you. And yeah. you barely have to put in any work. Bleh, yeah. <laughs> the way she says it so much. Meanwhile, nice girls like me gotta put in so much effort to even get noticed. <laughs> nice girls. You think all of this is just natural? <laughs> I put so much effort into how I look, you know? And guys like Shinya don't even bat an eyebrow at me. Oh god, Tomo's trauma dump. This is so sad, man. You mean bat an eyelid, <laughs> right? Whatever. It don't matter. I'm sick of skanks like you getting everything for nothing. Nothing. 
Look, let me be honest with you. I'm not interested in Shinya, and I'm not trying to be with him. <laughs> I don't chase guys, and it's pretty rare that they chase me. You've got me all wrong. She really is kind of like the, the nice guy archetype, but just like the nice girl. <laughs> the nice girl version. Why don't they ever date nice girls like me? <laughs> like I believe you. Yeah. You spend your time chasing chicks then? Yeah. That's not your business. Mm. But you don't have to worry about me pursuing Shinya. She didn't deny it. Tell you what. Any guy at the office is all yours, okay? I'm not interested. Oh, is that how it's gonna be slut? <laughs> like literally like I'm not interested in any of them. Okay, whore. <laughs> like how she has like a necklace of her neck or like a necklace of her name too. You think no one is good enough for you? But they're good enough for me. Oh my god, girl, you you're twisting everything I say. You're just like all the other girls. You think I'm worth being pitied? You think I need it? <laughs> it really is like the Kazuna voice. Well, I don't want your pity. You're nothing but a fake skank. Tama pushes forward her bulk, forcing me off the sidewalk into the thicket of trees bordering the path. Oh! Oh shit! Oh my god! Well, I didn't even get, what about I do? I didn't even do anything! Noriko is crazy, but she doesn't deserve this. She was literally doing she literally did nothing wrong in this situation. The burning slab across my face comes out of nowhere. I'm blinded by white stars, and my entire face feels like it's on fire. The strike is hard, sharp, vicious. It happens so suddenly, I'm having a difficult time processing it. I stumble, my legs don't quite give out, my mind races, trying to put together what just happened. Tomo hit me? Why didn't she fucking hit me? I wasn't doing anything! <laughs> now y'all telling Tomo to slay in chat. <laughs> You're like all the other girls, I'm not like other girls. Er, wait no, Bree is like a yeah, yeah, not like other girls. <laughs> She really is like that, though. She's like exactly that. Uh, oh, shit. Man, ah, I keep forgetting the scroll thing is super uh, sensitive in this game. She really is exactly like that, though. <laughs> Thank you, a uh, big chunk of uh, costume Bridget. Should you all already change the status to inter- Oh, my God. <laughs> he probably did, dude. Oh, man. It's like cute in fiction, but I would be really annoyed by somebody like him in real life. He already changed his status to in a relationship after Nariko accepted his friend request. Already changed it to married. Already sent the proposal through Facebook. <laughs> and Nariko sees it and she's like, what the fuck? I saw my legs don't quite give out. I'm trying to put... Why'd she hit me? There's a strange sort of disconnect in my mind. Let me see. Wait. Strike hard, vicious. Suddenly I'm having difficulty processing it. I stumble. My legs don't give out. My mind races trying to put together what just happened. Tomo hit me. Why? Why did she hit me? There's a strange sort of discontent in my mind. Or disconnect in my mind. My body doesn't feel like my own. Like this isn't actually happening to me, but rather I'm watching it ha happen to someone else. Time seems to slow down and speed up all at once. The slap replays twice in my mind before Tomo's hand even leaves my face. I catch a glimpse of her furious expression, red and strained and overcome with anger. Ah, oh, thank you, Nikki. Noriko about to submit Tomo's name. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, can I submit somebody's name on my own website? Is that okay? Does that work? I hate you. I hate everyone like you. Don't pity me. Girl, what is wrong with you? The second strike connects with my chin and I flinch. My entire body paralyzed with pain. Girl, she is really just fucking slapping me. She hit me again? Stop. <laughs> Jesus. I hate you. I hate you. She hasn't even done anything. Tomo is lost and she's absolutely furious. And I can't figure out what I did wrong. Her third attack is a curled fist. Oh, she's switching. Oh my God, she's switching to a fist. She's really just going to beat the shit out of her. Fist aimed straight at my stomach. Through her sheer luck or a complete accident, I tumbled backward, narrowly avoiding the punch and instead landing on my rear. The pavement is rough and hard, but I'm sure it feels a lot better than taking a fist in the gut. Tomo screams and rushes. Oh my gosh, she's really trying to kill me here now, but I scrub at my feet and grab her by the wrist. She flails widely, her eyes looking like she'll they'll pop out of her skull at any given second. Her breathing is hard and ragged. And tears of rage have caused a flood of clotted makeup to run down her face. Calm down. Calm down. But I thought it was all natural, Tamo. You don't wear any makeup, right? She struggles against me, slowly giving in as my tight grip prevents her from attacking me further. 
She begins to sob softly. Oh, why is this happening to me? This is so sad. I'm such a victim. I hate you. I hate everything about you. She really does have issues, man. What is wrong with her? Why does she hate me so much? Did she go to my high school too? I don't think so. I feel like, uh, I feel like they would have mentioned that by now, you know? With a great pull, Tomo frees herself from my grip. She steps away, cursing, and then runs past me. I blink in disbelief as she breaks into a sprint, heading into the direction of the train station. I raise a hand to my tender face and touch it gently. The stinging sensation is completely new to me. Never before have I been attacked like that. What the hell was all that about? <laughs> For real. Ah, oh, she's crying too. I can't believe she hit me. I know the voice acting in this game is really good so far. They've been doing a really good job. Everybody at the office just happened to go to high school together. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The pack of frozen vegetables pressed against my face soothes my swollen jaw, but does very little to calm my nerves. Do it, girl. Put her on the website. Do it. Photoshop. Photoshop her. Submit her on your own website, queen. I know you can do it. I'm still on edge after what happened today. Tomo actually physically attacked me, all because I said something. I'm not sure what provoked her anger. Maybe that girl is more complicated than I gave her credit for? Seems like she has her own inner demons, just like the rest of us. I've replayed the event in my head a hundred times since returning home, without confronting Tomo about it. I don't, I don't think I'll ever figure out what incited her aggression. But I don't plan on talking to her about it anytime soon. I wouldn't say I'm scared of her, but I don't exactly want to encourage a repeat performance. Can you, like, report this to HR or something? You know? When <laughs> Damn, Narika stole my boy again. Oh, Kyusei, you're here. <laughs> nice. Thank you, big chunk of costume, Bridget. Well, I guess this ship isn't going to work out anymore. Barely lasted half a stream. You still have, um, you still have Owie. <laughs> you got it. You got that still. We got to believe. We got to believe in the power of GL. Thanks for the dono, by the way. I rest the bag of frozen vegetables on the small coffee table next to me. I've done all I can to reduce the painful swelling for now. Sighing and leaning back, I let the soft paddling of the couch consume my body as I sink deeper. My eyes glaze over as I bring my phone to my face. My fingers lazily tap and scroll as I look through the carefully curated obituary newsfeed. <laughs> Mary Smith isn't even going to be there. How could her day get any worse? A list of deaths that have been reported throughout the day. Using a set of handy filters, I narrow the feed down to include only women's deaths. In the age range of 30 to 50, I set the location to cover all of Japan. I immediately exclude any results that mention natural causes of death. I'm looking for specific cases, suicides, or as in more often reported accidents. Of course, I'm looking to find out whether my latest victim has offered herself yet. Should this search string results return no results, then it's pretty easy to look up recent murders. There are few and far between. Between suicides, accidents, and murders, I've covered all the potential ways my victim could die. 9 out of 10 of the search results include a photograph of the, of the deceased. Oh. Oh, yeah, not... Okay, it's like, not a photograph of the corpse. I was like, wow. For a second, I was like, who? Not a photo of their corpse, mind you. This isn't the database of the deceased I'm looking through. Jesus, Weeby, calm down. Rather, it's usually a nice, flattering picture of the recently departed, submitted by their kin to go along with their obituary. It usually has a bunch of TikTok filters on it. I use the photos submitted with obituaries to compare and match with the image of my victims. This is the only reliable way I have to discover whether or not my victims have perished. If I knew a victim's name, I could easily look up their current fate, but my website doesn't ask for that information. What? That's kind of strange. Call it respect for the victims. <laughs> I may, I may be willing to end their lives, but I draw the line at learning their name. I guess it could be like, um, you know, it's like when you find like an animal outside your parents like don't name the cat because you're gonna get too attached to it i guess for her it could be like don't name the victim or don't know their name because then she's gonna be too attached to it or something call respect for the victim's privacy but there's a lot more to, to it than that but that's a topic to dwell on another day tonight's search turns up no solid leads and disappointed but this result isn't entirely unexpected after all i set the date to my latest victim's photograph to tomorrow there's still time. There's still time for her to freak out and end it. I decided to go, go to sleep early tonight. I'm not even feeling hungry enough to eat the cheap convenience store meal that's sitting in my fridge since yesterday. Though if I go to sleep now, it will feel like tomorrow arrives sooner. Tomorrow. I'll have to see Tomo at work. 
There's no way I can avoid her since her desk is so close to mine now. I was like, couldn't you report that to HR? The idea doesn't sit well with me because she's literally going to have like bruises or something from like being punched and slapped. On the other hand, my victim might conquer herself. <laughs> when the boss was just like, oh, you know, that happened outside of the building. So technically, technically it's not our problem. <laughs> Move on with your day, Tomo. Which would definitely make me feel a little bit better. Oh, it would make me feel so much better if she just killed herself. I could feel... I could very well be- it could very well be my next success. The suspense is just about enough to kill me. Tomorrow. 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 I hope you die. Tomorrow. Poor Mary, dude. She didn't even do anything wrong. Wednesday morning, May 27th. My typing is hesitant and distracted this morning. My fingers falter, misstep, and tap backwards repetitively. This is no good. I can't focus on work while I'm staring at the top of Tomo's head. Popping off, popping up from behind. A monitor a few desks away. I don't think there's HR in this game. It kind of seems like it. We can, we can afford to pay an HR department. Who needs that shit anyways? Even my work playlist isn't inspiring me to pulverize the keyboard today. Let the bodies hit the floor is not hitting like it normally does. Normally a blast of pure vo volume and a shot of caffeine is enough to carry me to the greatest heights of productivity. I press a finger to my pursed lips, trying hard to regain my focus. I absentmindedly notice that I missed the edge of my top lip- <laughs> Oh my god, when applying lipstick this morning. Damn, I'm really out of it today. At least I managed to apply some extra blush to cover up the faint bruising on my face. I might have overdone it a little, but it's better than looking like I just stepped out of a boxing ring. Good morning, Noriko. Oh my god. Boy, have I got some neat news for you. Oh my goodness, some new super neat news. I'm so absorbed in my own thoughts that I barely registered Shinya standing in front of my desk. Noriko? Excuse me. Noriko. Are you in there? So, did, you, did you receive my, my marriage request on Facebook? And we're, we're basically married now. Where do you want to go for a vacation, girly? You want to go to Hawaii for a honeymoon? <laughs> My eyes fixate on Shinya's goofy smile. I quickly remove my headphones. Fujikawa, uh, Shinya, sorry. Hi. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Tired is all. Oh, I hear you. I was up late last night. <laughs> Just dreaming of you and our marriage. Boy, I must have been up past ten. <laughs> Just could not put down this new crime thriller I've been reading. You think he'd be interested in horror books too, since he's interested to uh, interested in crime. Wow, staying up past 10. I went, I'll have you know, I went to bed at 10.05 last night. Um, I'm kind of a bad boy. It's no big deal. Oh, yeah, right. I was, <clears throat> I was up late reading too. Your horror novels, right? Don't they leave you feeling a little scared before you go to sleep? I mean, I feel like crime novels would honestly scare me more than horror novels before going to sleep. Well, I don't know, maybe equally. No, not really. It's all fiction, so it's pretty easy to distinguish from reality. <laughs> Shinya is 100% our Misa Misa. <laughs> he really is giving that vibe so that's far. So. Wow, that's not like my book at all. The crimes in this story are all based on real cases. My jaw hits the floor every time I turn the page. It, like freaks me out so much more to learn about like real murder cases than like fiction, you know what I mean? I feel like fiction I can like detach myself from, but like I could not listen to any kind of true crime or read true crime stuff before bed. Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyway, let me tell you this. Your friend Sato can take a data entry oh. opening starting from Monday. Yay! She doesn't even need to interview. Oh. That's how much the boss trusts me. <laughs> You're always bringing in these cute girls, Shinya. I trust you. I'm genuinely impressed with Shinya's ability to score Aoi a job. Say what you want about the guy, but the bigwigs obviously have faith in him. Wow, Shinya. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> don't thank me yet. Sato is going to be worked to the bone. I hope she's prepared for it. Aw, cute. Yay, I'm happy. I'm happy for Sato. Trust me, anything will be better than her current job. Really, thank you, Shinya. You came through for us here. Well, I'm just happy mm. to help. Hey, uh, uh, uh -oh. Noriko, can I ask you something? Oh no, he's about to get rejected. Sure. Shoot. Shoot? Oh, right. Uh. <laughs> <Any> question. <laughs> He's so dorky. Sorry, I just remembered this case in the novel I'm reading where a police officer shoots at a perp only to- Oh my god. Hey, you uh, wanted to ask me something? Don't want to hear about your boring crime stories. Right. 
Uh, are you friends with Watanabe? Does he like her? I blink a couple of times. Oh, she's just so sweet. I just love nice girls like Watanabe. Tomoe? Oh, Tomoe. You're on a first name basis with her. Then you must be great friends. Okay, maybe maybe we've been reading him wrong. I mean, I <laughs> wouldn't say. I <laughs> wouldn't. Arch rivals, more like it. Listen, would you mind putting in a good word for me with her? So he likes her, not me? What the hell? I'm, I'm kind of interested in uh, taking her out sometime. But I could never ask her myself. Okay, fine. You're her, Misa Misa. No, it's fine. I don't even want you, Shinya. It's whatever. Fine. Just fangirl over her. I don't even, I don't even care. I don't even have the goth GF dress for you to put on. I didn't have the pigtails ready for you. The eyeliner. It's fine. It's fine. I don't even, I don't even care. It's whatever. It's whatever. Man, that's crazy. I can't believe, cannot believe he's actually interested in her. Instead of, instead of me. Damn, I got fucking beat up in the parking lot. And he had a crush on her the whole time. I'm stunned. Gobsmacked. Speechless. Gobsmacked. That's a good word. Shinya likes Tomo? I thought he liked me. Is my intuition wrong? I wonder if the clues have been in front of me this whole time. What else have I... Have I not been seeing? Noriko? What do you say? Mm. Um, Shinya, look. Honestly, I'm not really <laughs> friends with Tomoe. I don't think I can help you. This really is some serious tea. Oh, I see. Mm. That's a shame. I, I thought maybe you were close. I did all that just to just to get with Tomoe. Darn. I guess there's not much to be done, is ah! there? Even after I helped you and Sato out and all. Oh my god, you gonna guilt trip me now, boy? Is he seriously trying to guilt me? I have to hand it to him. I didn't think he had it in him. Wow, after I did all of that, all of that for you, it's just whatever. Just ignore me, it's fine. Well, I suppose you can just <laughs> tell Sato to start work on Monday morning. Jesus. Okay, you're not as adorable as I thought you were, little Shinya. You're just a, just a manipulator. What was it? I guess that does make him a male wife. Was like mansplain, manipulate male wife. <laughs> You're nothing but a mansplaining, manipulating male wife. <laughs> see you around the office then. Jesus! His <laughs> total personality and demeanor change. He's one of those nice guys, huh? Shinya leaves. Once once he can't get something from you, all of a sudden no more little blushy sprites, and instead it's guilt tripping. <laughs> and I bury my face in my hands. Has this world gone mad all of a sudden? Shinya likes Tomoe. Not me? It's not that I'm disappointed, hell. I don't have feelings for the guy, but for him to be interested in someone vapid like her just blows my fucking mind. Dad insult to literal injury. Tomoe assaulted me yesterday. She has a vicious violence side to her that Shinya doesn't know about. Yeah, I was like, I don't know. I was like, I feel like it might be good to tell him about that, but I don't know, man. He was kind of giving me bad vibes after that conversation. He might be like, you just don't know her like I know her. Tomoe would never do that. She's my queen. He could be in real danger if he pursues her. I'm completely unable to process what I should do. Shinya scored Aoi a job, and I'm truly thankful. Do I feel like I owe him one? Should I ask Tomoe out for him or warn him about her? I need to clear my head. Oh, I wonder if I can get a choice soon, actually. We haven't actually gotten any choices so far, and I'm to think about it. I need to clear my head. I decide to step away from the desk and visit the restroom. Oh my god. I should probably save again soon. I'll have to think about it. Save while I'm in the bathroom. I cannot believe this dude. This fucking dude. Really out here guilt tripping me. Though I have no need to use the restroom, I enter a stall and lock the door behind me. Sitting on the toilet's closed lid, I lean back and exhale. I'm getting too caught up in office drama. That's what the issue is. It's unlike me. I'm supposed to be stoic, unflinching. It's my ideology, my entire identity. Oh, nice guy and the nice girl. They're a match made in hell. Oh my god, for real. They really are like the nice guy and the nice girl. The pick me girl and the nice guy. The I'm not like other girls girl. It's my ideology, my entire identity. My emotions are better locked away than stitched on my sleeve. I'm a corpse girl for crying out loud. My purpose is bigger than all this. I'm destined for greatness. I'm a light Yagami Kinney, I have to remember that. The day will come when people fear my name, right? I shake the dots from my mind and pad my cheeks. Doing all of this for the right reasons. 
Can you explain those reasons? I know I am. If I start doubting myself now, I'll never see my mission through. Oh. An unfamiliar jingle rings out through the restroom, echoing off the walls. It sounds like a phone alert? Where'd it come from? That was a weird phone alert. It takes me a few seconds to realize I have my own phone in my hand and it's vibrating incessantly. I must have grabbed it subconsciously from my desk when I stood up. The screen is lit up and a message reads, One new article matches your custom filter. Oh! It dead body lol. <laughs> Was it? That's your custom filter? Wait, what? Oh my god, it work? The auto news feed I set up last night, it actually located something? I hurriedly unlock my screen and open a certain app, the same app I was trawling through last night looking for obituaries. A little unread mail icon sits at the top of the screen, blinking and practically shouting for my attention. I hit the icon and read the information presented to me. No, not Mary! Article posted online today. Oh, the creepy music. Today, 11.22 AM. Keywords found, miss, accident, numerical data, 30 to 50. <laughs> they're perfect together. They're not like everyone else. They only understand one another because they're so quirky and cute. Yeah, I know. This is so good. That really is such a cursed fucking shit, man. They deserve each other, honestly. No, Mary, say it ain't so, queen. I know you can't do this. Oh, Akane. Oh my god, her name's Akane. No, that's just gonna make everybody love her even more in the chat. Miss Akane, Surumaki, 36. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is this? <laughs> is it just me or is this a combination of like three different characters from Dying Rafa and another's name? Akane, Suru, like Sarugi, then Maki. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Am I going crazy? Miss Akane, Suru, Maki, <laughs> Sarugi, Maki, 36, the Chiba Prefecture, was pronounced dead this morning at a personal residence, 8:38 a.m. I knew, I knew, ah. Uh, I knew to stan her. She's literally almost got Surugi in her name, and Maki and Akane. The chief coroner reports that Miss Surumaki was involved in an accident resulting in self asphyxiation. Oh my god, was it a contusion of the octopus? Miss Surumaki is survived by her husband, Mr. Goro Surumaki. Oh my god, Goro Akechi! And their daughter, Miss Fu Surumaki, one. A funeral service will be held on Friday, May 29th. The view, view image attached. I hurriedly tap the button and gasp at the, as the image loads. No! Not Tsurugi Maki Akane, no! It's her, the photo. It's unmistakably the same woman. What are, she die in the same way though? Did it, did it say? I was too busy memeing to, to pay attention. Plain features, little makeup, no sign of personality. Akane Surumaki, the latest victim to receive a photo of her own fucking corpse. My breathing stops all of a sudden. I'm gasping for air, my cheeks on fire, my fingers numb. I did it. My meticulously crafted photo caused this woman to end her own life. An accident resulting in self-asphyxiation, meaning she died by suicide, strangled herself or had her, held her head down in the bath. The news never reports anything as suicide. It's such a taboo topic in this culture. Everything's always an accident. All this time. All this time I've been trying to compel somebody to kill themselves. My corpse photo is constantly becoming more and more elaborate and more and more convincing and realistic. I knew my Photoshop skills could do this. And now, now somebody has died again because of me. Because of Corpse Girl. I was right all along. I do possess power. I have the power to end lives through my work. My art! Ooh, I like the song. I've known it all this time, but I've finally proven it! Oh, thank you, big chunk of costume Bridget. Shouldn't you borderline harasses Noriko to accepting friends- to Accepting a friend request and starts guilt tripping her just so Noriko will tell Tomoe what a nice guy he is. What a wimp. I know, right? <laughs> I know. Maybe he'll redeem himself later, but he was- I was not liking the vibe from the last conversation. Even though I was like standing him so hard before that. <laughs> Just because he's in love with Tomoe, it's not fair. Ruri Hatano's death planted the seeds of my belief in my mind. The belief that a corpse girl is more than a mortal being. And now, Akane Sarugi Maki's demise has caused those seeds to bloom and blossom into pure certainty. Corpse girl can truly end lives. It's a wonderful revelation and it relieves my turbulent mind. Yes, yeah, so is something the chat's saying or mentioning 
I kind of like didn't fully read the message, but I think they mentioned that it could have been like the husband that submitted the photo. It makes sense if he killed her too. Most of like, most uh, murders I feel like a lot of times do happen from like your husband or like uh, your wife or something, at least in those like crime shows that like my parents watch all the time. However, I can't get my fingers to scroll back up to reread the obituary. My hands aren't functioning. My legs dangle lifelessly from the toilet seat. And my coffee from the morning is working its way back up my throat. I feel the sting of tears in my eyes. Sweat trickles on my forehead, dripping down my uncharacteristically uncharacter thick makeup. All of a sudden, I can't breathe. My lungs refuse to take in any more oxygen. I panic and fall forward. Miraculously slamming my hands into the stall door to prevent my head from colliding with the floor. My nails scrape against the door's enamel paint, peeling chunks of green from the surface as I slide down, down, and down, till my head rests uncomfortably on the damp tiles. <laughs> oh, she looks so pretty here. Oh, uh, she's so crazy. She's got that. <laughs> I was like, uh, I feel like, uh, oh wait, I was trying to think. There was like a sprite that was like that. I was thinking of Kamida who did like the hand sprite. I'm just a worthless piece of guard. It's kind of like the, but it reminds me of the hand thing. My eyes roll back and my tongue lolls out the side of my mouth. Dangerously close to the top. Ew, girl, get your tongue off the bathroom floor. Disgusting. But completely out of my sight and mind. I taste, okay, okay, I thought she was about to taste the, the foundation of the floor. I taste a little bit of pee on the floor, and it tasted good. I taste foundation and blush, a little bit of sweat, nothing at all as, as the still air envelops my taste buds. My photo killed that woman. That woman killed herself because of my photo. My photo killed that woman. That woman killed herself because of the photo. That woman killed that photo. The woman, my woman, my my woman killed that photo of herself because that <laughs> just freaking gibberish now. <laughs> Go relax. My woman killed that photo of herself because the photo of the woman who killed herself in the photo. My eyes begin to regain their focus and my stomach turns, heaves and shakes, and warm coffee spill Ew! spills from my lips as I try to smile. <laughs> just literally screaming. Literally screaming, crying, and throwing up right now. She actually does it. I always joke about doing it, but Noriko, she she does she fully commits as I try to smile, but only manage to gurgle. The gritty paint underneath my fingernails has a rough texture, and I don't like it very much. I feel queasy and ecstatic at the same time. It's a hardly wonderful feeling that I could do without. So much for stoic and flinching Noriko. Remember stoic? Unflitching, Noriko. This is her, writhing on the blath, bathroom, <laughs> the bathroom floor. Her lungs are working once more, and her breath ragging and gasping, sucking in air like a mosquito sucks in blood. This is Noriko, Noriko with her grandiose fantasies of death and killing people without having to kill them at all, without having to leave her apartment because the outside world is scary, and there are people out there trying to kill her. This is me, Noriko. The real me, acting tough, fearless, when I'm crying on the inside. Always sad, always miserable, always lying on the bathroom floor with my fist clenched and my phone resting in a puddle as my life slowly spir spirals out of control. This is me. I did it. I killed that woman. She had a husband and a daughter and some random person requested that I kill her, so I did. Oh, I totally ruined those people's lives. Yes, slay! She probably didn't do anything wrong. She looked boring. She must have rubbed somebody the wrong way, though. Maybe she didn't even know what she did. Just like how I rubbed Tomo the wrong way, and I didn't even know what I did. But Tomo slapped me twice, hard, and it hurt. It must have hurt that woman, too, when she strangled. When she strangled herself and killed herself. Girl, she really did just totally ruin it. Totally ruin that poor daughter and, well, maybe the husband. I'm sussing the husband a little bit. But the poor daughter's life, man. No, not the blat room. No, damn it. Why can't I stop? I killed her. I directly killed her with my indirect actions. She's dead now. And I'm alive. I'm still here lying on the bathroom floor on the 14th story of Shinjuku's Temujin office building. And I have paint underneath my fingernails. And Aoi is going to start work here on Monday. But I did it. Girl, Aoi, you need to run, girl. 
Can somebody please save Allie? <laughs> Can somebody, I don't know. Well, I mean, she may, she may be a little cray cray too. I guess we don't know yet, but like, I feel like maybe she should be friends with her. And maybe Shinya, maybe he dodged an even bigger bullet. Like, I still think Tomo's a walking red flag, but <laughs> compared to Noriko, maybe that is the better decision. Maybe, maybe. But I didn't, I killed her. Finally, after countless months of pretense, of false starts, of failures and disappointments, I killed somebody again. Corpse Girl strikes for the second time. And above all else, above this grime and muck on the floor, this pee and poop that I'm lying in currently, and the tingling feeling underneath my fingernails, above all of that, this feels good. This feels so, so good. Blood has returned to my legs. The pins and needles have faded and my toes quiver beneath my stockings and shoes. An electrical charge pulses down my thighs and dissipates through my feet. I manage to plant two hands firmly on the tiles and push myself up into my wobbly knees. I stick in, can you imagine if somebody like walks into the bathroom while she's doing all this? Like <laughs> Tomo's like, what the fuck? I manage to plant my two hands firmly on the tiles and push myself up into my wobbly knees. I suck in air and breathe all of it back out. Almost at once, I feel dizzy, and a bizarre warmth is welling up inside my stomach and chest. Oh my god, she looks so psycho! <laughs> I managed to steady myself enough to sit back on the top of the toilet seat, with my feet planted firmly on the ground, and my hands resting on my lap. I try to regain my sense of self. Yeah, all the characters so far, all these characters scare me. Honestly, same. Like... All these characters do need to be assified hardcore. They're all very like, uh, I guess besides Owie, we haven't really learned enough about her yet. She seems like the only totally innocent person. I feel like Shinya is only really guilty of being cringe though so far. I might have lost my composure a little bit upon reading the news, but who could blame me? Everything I've worked for over the last year is finally starting to pay off. My second victim's dead with this. Corpse Girl's popularity is sure to rise! More and more people will issue requests through my website. More and more will receive corpse photos. And more and more people will. She killed. She killed herself. She killed herself. What is wrong with you, Noriko? Okay, so like her sister was like. I guess her sister wasn't nearly as bad as her, but she was like, you know, torturing homeless people and shit. It's like, what did, what kind of trauma did these women go through to make them like this, dude? Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you, uh, big chunk of costume Bridget. Don't worry. Aoi can fix. Yeah, nah. I can't lie. Ain't no fixing this girl. Maybe. You just gotta accept her as she is. You just gotta, you just gotta accept her for who she is. I don't know if she's changing anytime soon. I notice my phone is wedged between my wet fingers. I must have subconsciously scoped it up from the pool of muck on the floor. I try to ignore the sticky texture, clean. Ew, the pool of. Oh my god, is that her fucking bar from like the coffee and shit? I try to ignore the sticky texture clinging to my screen. My fingers no longer numb. I scroll up and reread the obituary article. Misakane Suramaki 36 of the Chi Prefecture was pronounced dead this morning. Dead, pronounced dead! My breathing staggers once again, my jaw gently lowers. Involved in an accident, hot steam clouds my face, resulting in self asphyxiation. I salivate unconsciously, a trickle of moisture creeping down my chin and. Ew! <laughs> Fucking drooling, girl! My cheeks are flushed, my vision slightly blurred. Her interests are very, very wide range. She gets off on. Facebook posts that are like completely boring, like just went to the pumpkin patch today. Mm. But also, people self asphyxiating themselves. She killed herself because of me. She killed. I let, a gasp. I let out a gasp. My hips rise against my will. My toes curl. My legs stiffen. My skin tingles. I lean back against the sister in the cold porcelain, penetrating the thin fabric of my clothes and chilling my burning hot skin. My eyelids flutter as my mind hazes over. I can't control my body any longer. All the anticipation of the last few days, the tension building in my muscles. I, I can't. My legs tense up, my knees buckle, my neck tilts back. Ew, girl, no, no, girl, please God, please no. God, Jesus, Holy Spirit. God, Jesus, no, please, Jesus Christ. God, Holy Spirit, no, please. Is she, is she can, oh, this is not. 
I think it is what I think it is. Jesus Christ! My phone falls to the ground once more as my fingers slowly uncurl. The dull tink sound as it hits the floor is the last thing my foggy mind registers. Okay. Okay, girl. Okay. Okay, let's stop it. Get some help. Get some help, girl. You look like horse shit. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely 18 and up streams. <laughs> no kids here in the stream. <laughs> no kids in the stream. <laughs> I didn't really know too much about this game going into it. I only really had like one person I knew who played it or maybe like a couple people who knew who played it, but I didn't really know exactly how um adult it would be. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, girl. Girl, there is I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, it looks like a horse shit. T Tomo Tomoe's brazen drawl snaps me out of my dead-eyed stare. Looks like you've been sleeping in the sewer. It suits you. It suits, yeah. It looks like you've been lying in a pile of shit and coffee vomit. vomit. I don't know what she's talking about. It is, that co is that literal coffee vomit in your hair? It's a new trend, okay? I don't know what she's talking about. I can't really focus on what she's saying. I realize I've been staring at my computer screen for about 20 minutes, rarely blinking. My mouth is dry as though I've stopped producing saliva altogether. A dull throb in my laps causes me to cross one leg over the other and attempt to get com you know, comfortable. You know, here. It's rude to ignore your superior. Superior. I swallowed an attempt to moisten my parched throat before speaking in a cracked voice. Do you need something? I thought you should know that Shinya and I are going to hit the town on Friday night. Turns out he's fancied me for a while now. Girl, I don't even like him. You can take the male wife. The manipulative, mansplaining male In wife. The end, seems like the better gal won, don't you think? <laughs> this is not a competition, you dumb. Oh my god. Thank you, Mel Kyra Rose. Man, who would have thought we were playing as. <laughs> it really does feel like that, honestly. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Thank you for the dono, by the way. Seems that way. Is that all? Oh, thank you, Brandon. Hi, Weeby. Wanted to stop by before work. Oh, thank you so much for being a member. Appreciate you. Hope you have a good day at work. <laughs> I thought you'd be more torn up about it. I thought you'd be, like, upset. Weren't you guys, like, in love? You're practically married. You're friends on Facebook. Come on. I can tell... I forgot to read this one. I can tell Tomoe is trying to get on my skin, but I'm honestly not in the mood to deal with this right now. I don't care in the slightest. Why don't you go sit back at your desk? Whatever. Hey, maybe I'll meet you after work again. <laughs> This fucking girl, dude. Why? So you can attack me again? Oh my god, I would never. That's like not what happened at all. I realized my voice was louder than intended. Ooh! A few people nearby tilt their heads quizzically. Yes, expose her. Timo takes a cautious step back. Your voice dumb, psycho. <laughs> stuff like that's between me and you. I don't want to get in trouble for that, okay? You assaulted <laughs> me. I should report you to the police. For real. Don't you dare. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Lost her words. Too many turns tail and walks away. Yes, report to the police, girl. I sigh and lean back in my office chair. Why do I feel so exhausted? I'm get the, I guess I'm trying to think. I guess how confident would the police be in that situation? But it's still something, man. At least threaten her with that. I, I guess she did. Mind flickers piercing together fragments of memory from the bathroom a short while ago. <laughs> there we go, girl. That's right. I let myself get carried away in the exhilaration of my ex success. It's one way to put it. I temporarily stepped away from my own body and led my... <laughs> what is wrong with her? Basest instincts take over. But I'm in control now. I'm myself again. I'm Noriko, stoic and unflinching. I'm a corpse girl, successful and feared. I can kill people as easily as I can manipulate a photo. People like Tomoe should be scared of me. People like Tomoe shouldn't mess with me. I'm in control now. Okay, girl. Whatever makes you feel better. Whatever gets you through the day. Climbing the steps of my apartment is always such a chore. It's like, who do I root for in this game? I can't tell. Everybody everybody is such an awful person. <laughs> Which means for me, I just love them all equally. I wish I'd moved into a building with an elevator, but I simply couldn't afford to when I first moved out on my own last year. These old apartment buildings creak and groan when you ascend the stairs. On top of that, you can hear the bustling of other people within their tiny homes as you progress up each floor. There's always a slight whiff of mold or mildew whenever I ascend the stairs. I want to chalk it up to the fact the building is so old, but it's possible some of the residents here don't keep their apartments very clean. 
At the very least, this neighborhood is decent. I feel safe in my home, even if it's small and cramped. And my neighbors are respectful, from what I can tell, even though I'm framing one of them for being corpse girl or whatever. Not that I really know them at all. In fact, the only neighbors I have regular contact with are the very same ones I leech Wi-Fi from. Some middle-aged divorced guy named Kinji. Oh man, I thought it said Keiji for a second. I was like, just imagining your Chindai Keiji. Nice guy, nice girl, corpse girl, quite the cast. <laughs> so far, man, what is Aoi gonna be? We haven't we haven't figured her out yet. But thank you, uh, Jeff, for the dono. Appreciate you. Some middle-aged divorced guy named Kinji who lives in the floor, floor floor below me and his daughter, Momo. Oh god, Momo just makes me think of that like uh what's like cursed like picture people shared online. Yeah, so far Aoi is a good character, but I don't know if it's really gonna last for <laughs> last for long. We'll see, we'll see. Kenji's a decent enough guy. He works overnight, which unfortunately means Momo has left home a lot in the evenings. Oh, it is kind of close to, to Kenji. Like, uh, it's just spelled differently. Momo's a sweet girl, perhaps six or seven years old. Occasionally I hear her singing drift up into the apartment, but it doesn't bother me too much. She's just a kid. I wonder what she would... Would she, like, if she got, like, a child request on the website, would she still Photoshop that? If she she does think she has the power to kill them or whatever. It's the very same Kenji and Momo that I bump into when I'm climbing the stairs this evening. Oh, oh. good evening. Okay. Hey, Kenji. What's up? What's up? Ah, oh, she's so cute. She kind of looks like, a. Uh, she kind of looks like the victim, the first victim to die, who was, like, uh, Ruri, Ruru, Ruru or something, I think. Hello. We're just on our way to get some dinner. Isn't oh, please, that right, Momo? Please, no spamming in chat. Please. I appreciate the compliment, but please, no spamming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, I think the mods got it. Cool, cool. Y yes. That sounds nice. I hope you have a good meal. Thank you. Say, are you feeling okay? You look like you've been in some trouble. There's dirt or something all over that side of your face. <laughs> it's just coffee throw up. Don't worry about it. I tilt my head and reach my, a hand to my cheek. Sure enough, dry muck has bled into my makeup and caked all over my face. Jesus. I, and she wonders why Shinya doesn't like her. It's so weird. She's like walking around with vomit on her face all day at work. Why doesn't he like me? Not that I even like him or anything. Baka. Is this from when I fell in the bathroom? Damn it. Have I looked like this all day? Oh. I try to make up some lies so Kenji doesn't worry about me. I, uh, <laughs> I actually fell asleep on the train home, and I guess the seats were mm. kind of dirty. Is that so? <laughs> does not believe me. You should wash your face and do your makeup again. Aw. I can help if you like. Ah, uh, she's so cute with her little kitty dress. Uh, hopefully she doesn't die, man. I feel like children in these types of games, they always die or they're, like, secretly a murderer. I can't help but smile lightly at Momo's generous offer. Oh, thank you, Momo. I'll be sure to wash up and make myself look nice again. You should go have dinner with your dad. Aww. Ah, thank you, Crispy! Yo, Weeby! Oh, Crispy, hope you're doing well. It's been a while since I've seen you. Thanks for being a member for 11 months, and I hope you're hope you're having a good day. Thanks for stopping by the stream. The girl nods resolutely. Well, I hope you're okay at any rate. Have you been working hard at the bank? Oh, actually, I just work at the head office for the bank, so... Oh, uh, that's right. Sorry, data something, right? You guys are big for Kenji and chat. Yeah, data entry. It's a bit dull, but I'm happy enough. He seems nice, but the way this game's going so far, I'm sure he's psychotic too. That's good. That's very good. I know it's hard for kids like you to get good work in this economy. When you find a job like that, you really have to hold on to it. He is, he is very pretty though. I definitely give it to that. When I was your age, I could only find cleaning work. I must have had a dozen different janitorial jobs before I met Momo's mother. Oh, Momo's mother. So, so there's a Miss Kenji in the picture. I mean, like, if there's not, <laughs> I've linked a couple times. It's not like I talk to this guy often. Really, we hardly know each other. Why is he trauma dumping on me? <laughs> right? But to be like, and then Momo's mother passed away. Oh God, I'm, I'm, got trapped into a free time event somehow. Still, I never heard him actually mention Momo's mother before. Most of the things I know about him, I've just pieced together from context. Uh, oh no! Not the kid! It, how could you bring a mother? It just starts bawling. No! Of course. Things oh no. Are different now. I have Momo, and her mother isn't around anymore. 
Cleaning work doesn't cut it these days. Uh, maybe she just abandoned them or something. I was really lucky to get into security. It means I can work overnight while Momo sleeps, and I can still take her to school every day. That's nice. He seems he seems like a good a good dude so far. We we stand Kenji so far. Security, of course. Now I remember he did mention when we first met what he does for a living. If memory serves, he works for a private security company. I assume he guards corporate offices or parking lots, something like that. It seems nice too, you know, he's really trying to like be a part of his daughter's life. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Hold on to a job if you like it. That's very important. Thank you. I'm happy at Temujin, so I plan to stay there. Very good. Oh, Momo was telling me earlier what she wants to do oh when she God. grows up. Weren't you, Momo? <laughs> like, I want to be Corpse Girl! That? Oh, no. Come on now. Tell Nariko what you want to be. Um, okay. Scientist. Okay, that's, that's good. That's cute. That's normal. It was just, I was just a little worried. Wow, a scientist. That's a great job. I'll be rooting for you, Momo. I thought she was about to say some creepy shit, to be honest. The girl blushes and hides behind her dad. She's inherited her mother's book smarts, I'm certain. She definitely didn't get her brain from me. Anyway, we're gonna get going. Enjoy your evening, Nariko. Thank you, you Nariko. too. I think I might have been bye saying bye her name all wrong. Bye-bye. Hey, she's so cute. Bye-bye, little girl. The two of them bow their heads and fall the rest of the stairs down. I continue up the next flight of stairs, reach the landing, then turn the corner to enter my own apartment. Yeah, I'm kind of curious how she would react if, like, uh, somebody requests somebody she knows, you know what I mean? Like, uh, maybe him or, like, the daughter. I- oh god, if somebody requests the daughter, dude, that would be so fucked up. Yeah, no, just delete- she better delete that request and not do anything if she does get something like that. The place is dark because I always make sure to cut the lights before I leave. I can't afford to leave any electri electricity running. My rent shoes through most of my salary as it is. I flick on the lights and feel relief as the living room illuminates. My faithful couch and TV emerge from the shadows and I immediately feel at home. After throwing my keys and back onto the coffee table, I slump down on the couch. What a day! I have an overwhelming urge to pull out my laptop and check my website for new requests, but my body's needs come first. I'm desperate for a hot shower. I'll need to cleanse my face, scrape the paint out from underneath my nails, and I'll definitely have to slip into a fresh set of underwear. Whatever happened in that bathroom day took its toll on my- Ew! Ew! Toll my body and my clothes. Well, this night is young. I can relax later. From now, it's time to start scrubbing. Jesus. Jesus, Noriko. I know. I want to head Pat Momo, too. She's so cute. Convenience store is a little more crowded than no usual. The mundane chatter of business people, students, and workers buzz in the air like a swarm of relentless flies. Throughout the drone of mingled conversations, I happen to catch a few interesting words here and there. Have you seen that one website? Hey, they seem to know. What do you mean by request a death? My lips curl in a half smile, half snarl. <laughs> Change the class. I know jail. <laughs> the chat going insane too. I was like, ah! Noriko, why are you like this? Thank you, Eric's Animated Shorts. I appreciate, I appreciate you being a member. And yes, I agree with your sentiment wholeheartedly. I thought I might upload this photo. Oh wow, she's gonna get a lot of requests. And you think Corpse Girl really exists? She's gonna have to really up her Photoshop game. Dear, so many people talking about Corpse Girl's website. It's enough to make my nerves tingle. However, I know they're not talking about it because of Akane Surumaki's death. As far as I can tell, her death wasn't reported to the news as a, as a suspicious case. The only source of information I could locate was her obituary. And it didn't mention anything about foul play, so there's no way anyone could know that Corpse Girl was involved. People are talking about the website in the same way they always have. Like it's just an interesting topic of conversation, an icebreaker, one of the things you tell your friends to entertain them. And therein is my issue with the website as a topic of conversation. It's just an urban legend. A point of discussion that inevitably fizzles out and is forgotten. People talk about it, people visit the website out of curiosity, but very few take action and request a death. That's the part that annoys me. Why don't any of these people want to slay? God, she's just, she's just like me for real, like in Among Us. Whenever I play Among Us on like the Discord server, I'm always just like, why isn't anybody slaying? I'm like, guys, we need to slay more. Even as a crewmate, I'm like, guys, we need to vote people out and slay them. I don't make up the rules. 
Oh, thank you, uh, Leon, for stopping by. Appreciate, uh, appreciate you coming. Hope you have a good rest of your day. If you don't actively participate, how can I prove myself to the world? How can Corpse Girl claim her victims if there are no victims to be claimed? As long as the website is simply a talking point, a myth, an icebreaker, then Corpse Girl's ambitions will remain unfulfilled. To be fair, I haven't even provided a compelling reason for people to take the website seriously. The death, th the death toll is humiliatingly low. I need to ramp it up and step up my game for Corpse Girl's sake. Until I manage to do that, people will continue to simply discuss the website in hushed tones, like it's some taboo fantasy that shouldn't be spoken of. But with some more time and some more victims, soon, TM, everyone will know to fear Corpse Girl. Thanks to the constant drone of the convenience store, I barely register the quiet melody of a ringtone. Eventually, my ears become keen enough to pick it out, and I answer my phone. Hey. Okay, it's gonna be Owie. Good morning, Noriko. Is this a bad time? Not at all. I'm at the convenience store. Oh, good. I wanted to catch you before work. No worries. I actually meant to call you yesterday, but uh, the day got away from me. Well, like she knows she got the job, right? That's okay. Um, okay, I not yet. I wanted to ask if you spoke to Shinya yet? I sure did. Guess what? What? You start work on Monday. You'll be doing data entry with me. We might even Aww. get to sit near each other. Cute, even though, even though Noriko's uh, pretty, 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 little psycho, little psycho. Oh my gosh, really? Are you telling the truth? Of course. When have I ever lied to you? Oh, Noriko, I am so excited. Thank you. Thank you so much. Does this mean I can quit the maid cafe Aww, now? Oh yes, girl. Uh, yep. Quit today if you can. For real. Storm out if you want to. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Throw a drink on that creepy Thank 50 you. year old too before you leave. Ali, are you crying? Aww. I'm just. I'm so happy. She really is the only nice character so far. Making Aoi so overwhelmingly happy feels really good. I care so much for this girl. Her happiness is vital to me. I love you so much. And Shinya, too. I know. I'll buy him a gift to give him on my first day. Do you think he'll like that? <laughs> He's probably going to guilt trip you if you don't do that. Yeah, I'm sure he will. That's a great idea, Aoi. What does he like? I managed to spill the answer to that without having to think twice. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, his dad is a detective, right? Oh my god, is he gonna dump Tom away for Owie? Okay, I can get something like that. Right now, I'm going to march mm. into the cafe and quit. Aw, Owie's cute so far. <laughs> you tell him. <laughs> Good luck, kid. Aww. Okay, bye, Noriko. The call ends and I smile. Owie sounds so happy. I'm really glad I could help her out. Guys, see, Noriko's a nice girl. Look, she helped out her girl, Owie. <laughs> it's like, it's so weird. It's like... I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to understand Noriko as like a character. You know what I mean? She's a very interesting one. I mean, she does care about the well-being of like her friends and family. So she's not like totally, you know, unsympathetic and stuff. I don't know. Like just the killing people gets her off. Like, is that it? It's like, I don't know, man. The call ends and I smile. I always sounded happy. I'm really, really glad that I could help her out. She deserves to be happy. I barely have time to select a can of coffee from the line of refrigerated shelves before my phone rings again. Oh, thank you, big chunk of costume Bridget. Ah, oh, the GFs, queens. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, like, uh... I was like, man, should I should I ship them together? I don't know yet. <laughs> Is it... Should I ship Noriko with anybody, honestly? <laughs> that's, that's the question. I think they they probably are the cutest ship, though, so far. Oh. Sorry to call again, Noriko. I oh. just um something was bugging me. So what's up? Did I um this is going to sound stupid. Did <laughs> I thank you for getting me the job? <laughs> it was implied, girl. You're good. Oh yeah, you did. A few times, I think. Okay. Phew. <laughs> I just wanted to check. It was bothering me. And I didn't want to come off as ungrateful. So you know what? Just to make sure. Mm. Aw. Thank you, Noriko. Okay. I'm going now, really. Bye-bye. Bye, Aoi. 
<laughs> Somebody say Noriko X Blat Room. No, not the Blat Room too. Damn it. Not the Blat Room. <laughs> Noriko X Blat Room. That is so true, bestie. The only. Now that's the cutest. The cutest ship here. Oh my god. I shrug it off and return to selecting my coffee for the day. Yeah, somebody get Aoi out of this game. She's too pure. Knock on wood. <laughs> the office atmosphere is unusually somber when I exit the elevator. There are fewer people around than normal. Some executives I rarely see on this level are hovering around in one of the glass screened cubicles on to one side of the floor. I spy Shinya standing at his desk, talking quietly on the phone. He's nodding and bowing a lot, despite the fact that whoever is on the other end of the call can't see him. <laughs> Dork. I wanted to ask somebody what's going on, but nobody seems to notice me arriving. I shuffle my way to the desk and sit down. I spend time looking over a spreadsheet of today's tasks. After going through it thoroughly, Shinya arrives in front of my desk, seemingly out of breath. Noriko. Okay. Has anyone filled you in yet? Oh my god, it's Tomoe dead. No, what's going on? Why is half the office empty? Well, you see, somebody within the company oh. died yesterday. Is it gonna be Tomoe? We'll, we'll see. Oh, somebody we know? <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Why do you look so happy about that? Oh, that is so sad. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom for a little bit. Ex please excuse me. Shinya shakes his head slowly, his expression gravely serious. Nobody you would have interacted with. Okay. She was an exec up on the 21st floor. Apparently, she never showed up yesterday, but her co-workers just assumed she was taking a personal day. People started getting the news in the afternoon. She was involved in some sort of accident, and now she- Dead? Uh. <laughs> Shinya glares at me, his narrow people seemingly accusing me of being tactless and dead? Deceased? Can you ex describe in great detail how she died? <laughs> All the circumstances, what the body looked like? Yes. Dead. So, I mean, mm. I get it's a tragedy and all, but how does this explain where everyone is today? You should have received an email sent out by HR this morning. There is HR in this game. What are they doing? Basically, everyone is being offered oh. professional grief counseling. Seriously? I think some people are taking up the offer, but I suspect some other employees are using the opportunity to skip out on work. Yeah, I see people saying uh, in the chat too, was Mary Smith a worker? That's what I was thinking too. I guess she might be, uh, I guess she might be. Or this Akane Sarugi, <laughs> Akane Sarugi Maki. Hmm. My bad, I forgot, forgot to say her true name, Akane Sarugi Maki. Regardless, what happened to Miss Sarugi oh! was a tragedy. So unexpected. Okay, so it was her that worked here. I blink a few times, getting ready to turn my Turn back on my computer. Miss Sarugi Maki? Wait, what was her name? Uh, excuse me? Huh? Miss Suramaki. It should be in the email. She had a young daughter and everything. It's really sad. Akane Sarugi Maki. <laughs> the way she's staring at me, dude. Looks like she's looking at my soul. Though I never met her before, her face appears in my mind with startlingly startling clarity. Self asphyxiation and accident. She worked here? I can scarcely believe it. It's true that this is a massive company with thousands of employees Japan wide, but still, pretty big coincidence for her to work here in the same building as me. It's too coincidental. It doesn't feel right. Would I have gone through with killing her if I knew she worked in this building? This scenario creates more questions than answers person that requested her death do they also work here maybe it's like the person that requested her death was the one that killed her because i feel like i could see this like um i don't know like somebody's trying to like get back at like noriko for like making the website like by fucking with her maybe like choosing people that she like knows maybe like starting with like just somebody like a co-worker that she doesn't talk to then going to like somebody more close like shinya then going to like uh an actual friend or like the people you know from the other thing or whatever but just just a thought just a thought scenario creates more questions than answers the person that requested her death they also work here it would have to be somebody who knew her well enough to want her dead odds are high that they work here as well you okay i realized that i've been spacing out and i turned back to shinya yeah sorry just thinking is all well grief affects us all in different ways Think. You're an unsympathetic bitch, you know, that's just how you handle it. The details for the counseling sessions are in the email. Be sure to take up the company's offer if you think it'll help. 
She definitely, she definitely needs some counseling of some sort, man. As for me, I think I'll be okay. Some quiet reflection on the matter should help clear my head. Sure, okay. Plus, I have a date with Tomoe to look forward to. It's important to look ahead in times like these, isn't it? I think I read that somewhere. God, the date's gonna be a train wreck. Ugh, yeah, that's <laughs> what they say. Ugh. Very well, then. Do your best today, okay? Right. Shina takes his leave and I let my shoulders slump. I killed someone from my office building, but I didn't know that at the time. Could my involvement be traced? No, I was careful to cover my tracks. I deleted the photos from my computer, discarded the burner phone's SIM card, and trashed the phone itself. There's no way anybody will find out that I was involved. Besides, I don't even know if authorities are treating the case as a murder. As far as general information goes, it would seem like it's truly being treated as an accident. I'm in the clear. I know I am. However, I sure would like to uncover the identity of the person who requested Surumaki's death. I, the thought that I, it could be someone I work with makes me way too curious. Interesting. Interesting. I feel like it is somebody trying to fuck with her. Maybe they were the one who actually killed Surumaki. But that's, that's my thought. Oh, yeah. Noriko, Noriko definitely needs counseling from killing someone she works with. She needs she needs therapy, dude. She needs heavy, heavy therapy. Even Tomoe kept her distance from me. I wonder if I scared her off when I casually mentioned reporting her to the police. Not that I actually would report her. That would lead to the police getting mixed up in my life. Oh, uh, that's true. And I can't really have that, considering my moonlighting occupation as Kira. Especially now that I know I have a connection to Surumaki. I brushed my hair in front of the mirror in my bedroom. I remove my makeup and reveal the ever so faint bruise on my cheek, the fading token of my fight with Tomoe. Since tonight's since tonight is rather cold, I decide to snuggle up under the covers in the bed with my laptop. I crawl into bed and put the plush blankets over myself. The warmth and softness is immediately comforting, and I have to fight the urge not to fall asleep here and now. To keep myself awake, I check the requests on my website. Oh my god, that's so real. Same here. Whenever I'm like having a hard time going to sleep, I'm like, what's something relaxing I can do? I can see if anybody requested me to murder anybody else. I'm pleasantly surprised to find that there are two new requests. Two in one day. My heart begins to race, and I quickly open the messages. I agree, Jeff. I think I think Shinya is suspicious too still. Thank you, big chunk of costume, Bridget. Shinya, I just need some reflection by myself in the bath. Oh god. <laughs> No, not the bathroom. Hour later, Shinya walks out of the bathroom with a bum on his face. No. That's just how everybody deals with uh, with trauma in this game. Jesus Christ. Thank you for the dono. I appreciate you. Oh, man. Request details. Today, 11.14 a.m. Victim's phone. Image attachment not found. No image attachment. Okay, how the hell is she supposed to know who it is? What? I thought I can figure the website to request... Reject requests unless an image is attached. It's really irritating. I got my hopes up for nothing. It takes me a second to remember that there's another request waiting. My optimism renewed. I hurriedly clicked into the unread message. Request details. Today, 506. Victim's phone. Downloading image attachment. Yes, this request has been submitted correctly. The image is loading before my eyes. The other one's pretty sussy. There's definitely got to be uh, something, something going on with that. Oh. Another, oh my god, another generic looking guy. The new victim is male, early 20s. He's fit and athletic looking. What would, what can his name combinate? We got Akane, Sarugi, Mitch. I gotta put Mitch, er, <laughs> no, god damn it. I said, no, god damn it, I said the forbidden word. Akane, Sarugi, Maki, not Mitch. I was just thinking about putting Mitch in this guy's name. Or coming up with like an alternate name before we get his name. Teruya, <laughs> Teruya, Kenji. Mitch. Yeah, that's a beautiful name. What a beautiful name. <laughs> He's fit and athletic looking. His clothing is casual, so it's impossible to infer what kind of work he does. The photo of him is pretty simple. I don't know if he uses it for his noise profile or if it's an ID photo of some sort. Either way, he looks like a happy person. Too bad he's gonna fucking die. I'm not so naive to pretend I can't guess at the reason this guy is wanted dead. Perhaps an ex has submitted his details after a bad breakup or a jealous sibling wants him out of the picture? People's motivations are pu purely selfish. Requesting the death of somebody is guaranteed to be motivated by self-interest. 
So why did somebody want Suryumaki dead? She was so plain looking, so uninteresting. She didn't look like she was capable of even thinking about wronging someone. Did somebody want revenge on her? Or did someone simply find her so dull that the thought of removing her from the planet seemed appealing? That's kind of fucked up. I interrupted my own thoughts and returned to the task at hand. Dwelling on a past victim won't do me any good if I want to continue my streak of success. This new guy is attractive. It's almost a sh- Hell! <laughs> Are you deciding how you're gonna Photoshop him? Photoshop murder him? It's almost a shame to have to chop him up. Let's name him Sohiori with brown hair. Oh my god! We could put So in his name too, that'd be cool. We'll all get- Well, we all get what's coming to us. No sense in trying to avoid it. Scarring a pretty face. Beauty is superficial anyways. I know that as well as anyone. No one deserves to be spared just because they're good looking. I'm hot and I'm super fucked up and don't deserve to be spared. That's exactly how I know that. Beautiful people should su should suffer as much as anyone else. Beautiful people do suffer as much as anyone else. Take Aoi, for example. She's go- Oh my god, maybe this is a ship? <laughs> She's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. The oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Big chunk of Bridget, you see in this? She's gorgeous, absolutely stunning, and definitely my type. But she suffers endlessly at the hands of cruel stalkers and patrons. Okay! Okay! We love it, we love the- oh, Well... I'm like, on one hand I love representation, but on the other hand I'm like... <laughs> I feel like Aoi should hide. I just feel like she should run and hide, honestly. Everyone suffers, beautiful or not. We all co cop the crap we're dealt. So why fuss over a beautiful corpse? This guy, or Aoi, or even Tomoe on a good day. Uh oh, oh, Tomoe on a good day. Here we go. Beautiful people die the same way as the average person. The guy's, guy on my computer screen probably doesn't really deserve to die. I'm sure there's uh, some petty reason his death has been requested. But I take all the requests seriously. I won't turn a single one down. Corpse girl's convictions will pave the way to her fame. <laughs> it's like, we love representation, but do we want Noriko as representation? I know, right? <laughs> That's like my first thought. I'm like, <laughs> we'll take Aoi as representation. We'll, how about that? With a smirk and a lick of my lips, I get to work. I've got a nice clear photo here so I can go all out on the request. Oh yeah, she's on AO3 again. I hit up the DED, the database of the deceased, and spend time selecting a suitable base image. I hesitate between choosing an image of a corpse with a knife in its throat, or a body soaking in a bloody bathtub with- Eh, girl! Oh, what is wrong with you? Either image would do just fine, but I really want something special for this latest victim. After all, I have to stop my last success. Right, right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thank you, big chunk of costume, Bridget. You were, you were onto it, you. Ahead of your time. You were ahead of your time. It's sailing, it's sailing. The ship is sailing. Owie is Noriko queen. <laughs> it really do be sailing, though. Thanks to my clever use of tags and filters on the DD. This image, we just gotta pray that Owie can fix her. We just gotta pray, man. Oh, wait, one of the tags is funny. Oh, um, oh my god, I read that it served for a section, <laughs> for a second. Oh my god, served? Oh my god, bathroom, why is it not blat room? That's ridiculous, they should have, they should have blat room. <laughs> okay, accident, morgue, asphyxiation, severed. <laughs> Funny! Thanks to my clever use of tags and filters. This image matches my victim's description perfectly. 20 to 30 years old, athletic build male. The corpse's legs are severed below the knees. Blood, bloody stumps leak their vital fluids from from on high. The body is hanging from a set of ew, power lines on a some suburban street. Oh man, this is so detailed. It's perfect, beautiful even. It will help me create a beautiful death for a beautiful person. I kind of have to question the story behind this photo. I wonder if the police ever investigated and discovered what happened to this s sucker. Well, regardless, this will serve my purpose. I download the highest re resolution copy av available and save it to my hard drive. What a fucking sucker. W what a lame -o getting murdered and tied up to power lines. <laughs> what a loser. Am I right, Noriko? My fingers, she really has no sympathy whatsoever for people that aren't Owie. Maybe, maybe it is just the fact that it's Owie 
that's the only reason why she cares. Because I wasn't really sure. I didn't really, like, uh, know if there was actually, like, romantic feelings there. But now that it seems like there are, it could be that Aoi's, like, the only person she actually does care about. Which makes sense as to why she cared about her stalker and stuff. And then everybody else, she's just like, fuck it, who cares? <laughs> My fingers trace along the computer's trackpad with practice movements. Clicking, tapping, dragging at random intervals. The night carries on. Okay, Friday morning. I might I might need to end the stream soon, honestly, because I have some plans uh, pretty soon today. This game has been fun so far, though. How long ago? We've been on for like three hours and 45 minutes, I think. I just feel like it might be good to stop at the beginning of a new day, you know what I mean? You can find out what happens to uh, Taruya Mitch, Taruya Mitch <laughs> in, the next, <laughs> in the next stream. God, this has been so uh, interesting so far, though. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. It seems like uh, we had a pretty good turnout for... Uh, the stream, too. I wasn't totally sure how many people would be interested in this game since, um, I hadn't seen a whole lot of other people, like, uh, Let's Playing it and stuff. I just thought it looked pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I think this, think this might be a good place to stop for, uh, for now. And then we can continue again on Saturday. I think this game is, like, 12 hours long or something along those lines. It's pretty, pretty short overall. Um, probably the same length as, like, laps now that I think about it. So, yeah, maybe, like, three or four streams, just depending on, uh, how much I talk, <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Thanks for checking out this game. Uh, it's been fun, you know? This stream was wild. God, so much happened already. This game has been really very, very hectic. It's uh, it's doing a good job of keeping, uh, keeping you like on your toes, I feel like, you know what I mean? Because I feel like sometimes like the reason, one of the reasons why Danganronpa is like so popular is because like, there's all these like varying aspects to keep it like interesting without having to like make up like, you know, internal problems and things like that. But I feel like this game does a really good job of making uh, drama and keeping you on your toes without, uh, you know, like rules and stuff. But thanks guys for uh, stopping by. I will um, see you guys next Saturday. Oh, thank you, Crispy. Game looks interesting. Might try it out. Great stream, Weeby. Yeah, thank you so much. You should. It, honestly, it has been really good so far. I'm kind of surprised it's not more popular. Because the art's pretty, the story seems good, the voice acting's amazing. But, uh, yeah, thanks for uh, stopping by, too, Crispy. I appreciate you. But, uh, thanks, guys, for stopping by the stream. I will see you tomorrow for laps, and then we, we will continue this uh, next Saturday. But, yeah, thanks, guys. Bye! <laughs> Rip toy.